Hello there mortals, I am Yitzin and welcome to Hydraneer. I have blown out my voice from the last Delta stream I was playing, a Delta Rune stream, and uh, I need something that will cheer me up. I've had a bit of a rough couple of weeks so far and I need some chill vibes. So I'm going to be playing Hydraneer for a little bit, maybe for a wee while. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, anyway, I'm going to fire into a brand new game and we are going to name it, of course, exactly what we should be naming it which is uh, subscribe. I'm just going to call it subscribe. We are, we are firing into a brand new subscribe, and we're going to go. So, first things first in this game, we need to kind of get ourselves a little bit of uh, starting capital, right? So we're going to take the shovel. Uh, we've got a couple of free things over here. We've got a couple of buckets and a brush right here. This is going to be basically our starting build. Now, how you play this game, essentially right at the early game, as you get the shovel, you dig out some of this here terrain, you put it in the bucket, uh, you drop the shovel, you fill the bu the bucket with water from here. So we drop this in here, now it's filled with water, it straight back up, and we drop it right there. Now that we have water and dirt in a bucket, we get our brush, we brush it, and bada bing, bada boom, we've got our first bit of ore. Now, there are a couple of ways of kind of gaming the system so that we don't necessarily have to do all of those steps sequentially. So I'm going to take this bucket right here. I'm going to drop it in the water so that it infinitely fills itself up. And we're going to get this brush. We're also going to drop this in the water for uh, no real reason. We're going to take this here shovel. We're going to dig up some dirt. We're going to place the dirt right next to the bucket. Then we're going to take half of the dirt. We're going to put it in the bucket. We're going to try and drop the shovel. And then we, whoops, <laughs> then we brush. Now we brush. Now we drop the brush, we pick the shovel up, we drop the dirt, we grab it again, stick it in, whoops, stick it in the bucket, and then we brush it, then we drop, and then we pick up the dirt, put it in the bucket, and then we drop, and then we brush it, and then we drop, and then we <laughs> basically do this over and over and over again until we've got enough starting capital to actually get ourselves some machinery. Because all of the fun in this game is the automation of the game itself. And we definitely want to automate as fast as is humanly possible because it essentially, if we continue just brushing things over and over again like this, we are going to establish ourselves twice the uh, ore that we could possibly get if we do it as we have been doing. Whoops, I forgot to leave my uh, my dirt and the water right here, so we have to go and get some. Drop that there. Put it in the bucket. Uh, let's put it down and grab some more. Just to save a little bit of time, grab our brush, do a brush, drop that down, get the shovel, stick the dirt in there, drop that down, do a brush, drop that, grab the shovel, pick up the dirt, put down the dirt, pick up the dirt, put it in there, grab the dirt, put it down, pick up the dirt, and we grab the brush, we brush, we get the shovel, we drop the dirt, we drop the shovel, and brush. Basically, this is supposed to be the early core gameplay loop. And it's kind of satisfying as well, in a way, but there are better ways of getting yourself early game cash. All right, let's see what we've got ourselves. So, all of that work right there for the last uh, few minutes has gotten us all of this. All of this ore. There's actually an uncut uh, gem right here, which is pretty fantastic. Uh, we're going to drop that in the bucket, this bucket specifically, so that we can kind of separate our ores from our gems and drop that in the bucket right there. Great, because we can cut those gems and then they're worth heaps more. Now, we are actually going to basically go and sell all of this. So then we can go into the shop right here or that shop right there and start buying things. Because if we come in here, we have a shop where you drop our money in there and we pick up the items we want to purchase out of all of these. This is what we're going to be getting first. This is uh, piping. Uh, we drop it here, hit the button, and then we own it. We can take it out of the store. If you don't do that, you pick up an item, you just walk out the store, and unfortunately, it will Helm Screams out of your hands. So, uh, we're going to be cashing this in for cash. I, I don't have any cash, unfortunately, not just yet. But we will get ourselves a little bit of cash, and I'll tell you what, I'll even increase the uh, volume of this game so that it's a little bit easier to hear. There we go. Uh, perfect. That looks good enough for me. Let's come up here to the nearest shop in the game, straight up here. We'll drop all of our crap on the uh, bench, and then we will get ourselves Hey, So we've got 65 from. bucks right Your here. That was about three paper. minutes worth of work. We got ourselves a coin worth 65 credits right here. Uh, we can actually get ourselves quite a bit with this already. Now, what we want first 
is not actually this um, bucket right here. We actually want to get into another little section of productivity, which I will show you as soon as we can afford it. So we drop our money in there. Can we get this fishing rod? 52 bucks. We can actually get this fishing rod. Wonderful. So we're going to do that right this second. We, uh, let's just leave that money in there because we're probably going to come back here and um, buy something else eventually. We'll drop our bucket off close to where we are going to need it, which is just over here, and then we will think about getting ourselves a few fish. And I know it's getting kind of late and it's going to get kind of a little bit dark, but it's not going to be amazingly dark. We are going to fix that problem pretty quickly as well, just by buying this bed right here. We can't afford it just yet, but we do have this fishing rod. This thing accrues cash really fast. Like, really fast. And there's uh, even like a very, very quick progression to the fishing as well, so... It's better to do earlier than not, and we kind of need a flat surface for this bucket to sit on so that we can fish efi efficiently. There we go. Let's pick up this rod right here. And we are going to do some fish. There's a little dot just on the uh, right-hand side of the screen right there. That thing is the location at which you will drop whatever you are holding. So it's pretty important to have this lined up over the bucket so that we can literally just farm up fish like this as long as we can possibly manage. And this will get us our seed money to get us, maybe not the bare essentials of automation, but it'll definitely kind of ease the burden of what we are trying to accomplish right now. We basically just need lots and lots of money. Okay, we've got three fish. I think they're worth about three gold each, which is about as much as the other stuff is worth. But the difference between the, the, the bucket brushing, essentially, and the fishing is that fishing is not only... A lazier method but you actually to get better ores you need to either dig really deep into the earth or you need to buy different zones and start farming on those farming up ores on those so essentially uh what happens with the fishing is when you catch one single fish of the next tier and there's always a percentage chance of catching a fish of the next tier with each rod you will then get access to the next rod which will get you better more expensive fish and you'll be able to also uh, get the next rod sequentially to that. Now, funnily enough, when I was playing this privately over the week, when I caught the next tier fish, I'd always have, like, the, the previous tiers of fish in my hand as well. Whoops. So when I was able to hand it in, I was then able to also hand in the next couple of tiers of fish. What are we going to get now? I think we need a shrimp. For this uh, first little fishing upgrade. And the upgrade is not necessarily all that far away. So uh, in this session, I'm hoping that we'll have a mechanical monstrosity basically set up to automate at least a tiny bit of the mining. We're probably not going to get too much into the crafting in this session, but we definitely will get into the crafting in the next session that I play. Because hopefully we'll have enough uh, ores being ejaculated out of machines that we can kind of melt them down and craft more machines out of them. There is uh, two machines that we need to buy. They cost around about a thousand bucks straight off the bat. So we're going to need a grand to kind of get the automation up and running, not including all of the pipes and fixtures that we're also going to need to power the machines because this is Hydrogenia. Everything is powered basically by electricity called logic cables or water. So we're going to go into water first because it's the cheapest and easiest way to go. Oh, that was a big one, actually. That was a real big fish. We're going to go into the um, the easiest sort of automation that we can get first of all. And once we get enough cash pumping out of that machine to kind of subsidize the fishing that we're going to be doing, we are going to find ourselves in a really, really good spot to get in some logic-based automation, which is very, very cool. And I'll, I'm pretty good at this game, so I'll try and make uh, this series about as tutorial as possible. I wouldn't be too surprised if people aren't really interested, but this, again, this, I've already mentioned, maybe before I hit the record button, that this is the best ever logic puzzle game I've ever played. So, I guarantee that this is going to stimulate other people to get this game, if they see it. Okay, I've also started streaming early, so chat's not going to move for a wee while. I'm okay with this. I'm absolutely okay with this. The fishing is going pretty good, actually. We still haven't found the next tier of fish, unfortunately, but we have heaps of them, like an absolute arsload. I think that these shrimp are probably the hardest ones to fish up initially, but once you get them, then the tiers start opening up, and then I think the next choke is like tier four swordfish or something like that. 
Still going to point out the fish as we get them as their tiers are going. We're getting all of these kind of crap ones, which are basically tier zero, which is the fishing rod that we're currently holding. And once we get the shrimp, we're going to be absolutely fine. Or once the sun comes up, we could also hand on all of these fish to maybe get ourselves a little bit of uh, money together. So we could probably start putting together some automation or some, or at least get some pipes together. Something like that. Which would be fantastic. So we'll get maybe like, I don't know. It doesn't look like it's going to be daytime anytime soon. I'm pretty happy actually just fishing for the next like 10 minutes as well. Because it is really good seed capital. It's really good seed capital. I know it doesn't look particularly particularly riveting, but it is worth doing straight at the start of the game for maybe like 15 to 20 minutes. Because once you get automation up and running, you can do anything you want while you also passively generate uh, ores, ores and gems in the background. And you can sell most of those ores and gems. You can't really excel, uh, sell any of the glowing stuff, which I'm... I think we have in that bucket uh, that we kind of... Yeah, it's actually in this bucket right here, because it's the same bucket we used to brush. The gold pan, basically. That little glowing thing right at the bottom there is a uh, power crystal, and we can use it to power some of our automation in ways, like increase water pressure and such. Okay, nice guy. Still looking pretty good. This is such a relaxing game. I needed this. I needed this so much. I've been playing so many horrors recently that I'm basically desensitized to it at this point, so I'm going to be taking a, a bit of a break for the foreseeable future for, for these horrors. I'll be starting up about next week or so, but I'm hoping to play a little bit of Hydra now. Maybe relax a bit while I rest my voice and uh, maybe even some Streets of Rogue. I'll play some of that maybe at the end of the week. And we'll try and do some of the challenge runs that I set myself earlier last week. Where basically I just want to finish every class's main mission. Which is really hard to do. It's a very, very hard thing to do. I think I tried running the uh, slums character. The slum dweller. About ten times. I usually die... At like the second or maybe the beginning of the third zone. So I need to play it very strategically. It's a very difficult game. And the sequel is coming out in a couple of weeks as well. Oh, is that exactly what I need? It is. Okay. Let's take this bucket and we will go way over here because we can't sell our fish out there. We can only sell our ores and our jewelry and stuff like that, which is craftable later. Really? That's really easy to do. Sure, I'll do that. Thanks. Uh, there's also quests all around, all around the place. The NPCs give you quests, and uh, depending on what kind of quest they give you, what kind of thing that they're asking for, they'll give you tokens to kind of buy relevant things in that zone. Ooh. Uh, that's actually awesome. Uh -huh. I love when the stock price is higher than 100, because we can get ourselves some good stuff. I'll take the... Oh, that's not the shrimp. That's not a shrimp. Did we get a shrimp? Oh, no, we didn't get a shrimp. So, as I was saying before... This is annoyingly the, like, second tier of fish, so I'm actually going to come over here. This is where we get the uh, fishing rods, by the way. I'm going to come over here. We need the shrimp to get this rod, so I'm going to drop this fish in here, because after the shrimp, we need that fish to get this rod. So let's leave that in there, just kind of like as a, as a precautionary measure. And uh, now the stock value is high, we're actually going to sell for 416 bucks, which is pretty damn good. Awesome, I just got an achievement for selling something in the stock market. I'm going to put the money in this bucket right here because you can only carry one thing at a time, which is a limitation, but it's actually easy to do once you realize that uh, you can use things like buckets, pallets, uh, this truck right in front of us, and even carts to I don't suppose you can grab kind of grab other things. Uh, yeah, I, I'm on it, bud. I'm on it. Oh. That's embarrassing. Okay, we'll just leave that in front of that guy. That's probably why that guy said his voice line the way he did. He probably looked at us, immediately drop his quest on the ground and move on. Uh, let's come back over here. We'll take our money, and I'll just drop it here on the ground. We're not going to lose it, of course, because we're, we're pretty diligent. Uh, let's get the little circle over the bucket, and we'll start fishing up again. So, essentially, we need to get exactly what we caught last time, which may take a wee while, but again, it's something that's that's got to be done eventually. Uh, I kind of want to 100% all forms of productive enterprise in this game as well. One of them is fishing. And if people don't like that, you're welcome to skip through it. The There's fishing. There's fishing, there's agriculture. You can now grow crops and farms and stuff. I think I saw in a DLC there's a bunch of other things as well. But I haven't got the DLC just yet. I'll be getting that kind of later on in the week. And we'll be taking a, a little bit of a peek at that as well. But essentially for now, we're in a pretty good spot just kind of playing the base game. I don't know what the other area is going to be like, because there's l this big erupting volcano out on the horizon that's kind of hard to miss if you're playing the game naturally. That's a big fish. 
And that is supposed to be where the uh, DLC takes place. You'll see it. You'll see it off in the horizon pretty frequently, I think. It's kind of hard to miss. Very hard to miss. So let's start accruing all of our fish. The sun's almost up. I think we'll start uh, doing something else when the sun's up. Maybe we'll start panning for gold or something like that. Maybe we'll get a shrimp before then, but I don't have high hopes, necessarily. This is basically a casino at this point, which is why it's so lucrative every time you catch, like, one of these real big fish. Uh, we've also got a, a strange different fish that we haven't seen before in there, too. This one right here. Yeah, we haven't seen one of those before. Don't know what that is. It's probably worth a bit more than uh, just the crap fish that we have. But I am happy to kind of wait. It is a really pretty game, though. Like, the aesthetic of this game is kind of cartoonish, and it looks kind of low-res. Wow, that's a huge one. But it really does have its own little charm, doesn't it? I don't think they're stock assets. I think they're made personally. And I didn't quite realize this until recently, but the NPCs also have animations, which is also pretty impressive. I'm pretty sure Hydra is developed by either a single person or a really, really small team of people. It's a, it's a great game. It's a great game. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a team pe of people. But also, in saying that, I played Deltarune and uh, going to play Undertale very soon as well. Those games had a single person developing them, which is just crazy. I'm pretty excited, actually, to see Undertale. I know Deltarune had a few people working on it, but Undertale was literally a single-person experiment just to see if they could even finish a game through uh, consistency. And I think that, reasonably, they, they had. I think they, they finished a the game. Kind of widely critically acclaimed as uh, one of the kind of best indie games in the world as well. I wouldn't argue with that, though. Delta Room was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. But it was so fantastic that I blew up my vocal cords doing <laughs> doing the voice acting for uh, all the different characters. Pretty fun, actually. Pretty fun indeed. So we are accruing a lot of fish at this point. When the sun comes up, we'll go and catch them in. And then I think we'll kind of leave all of our fishing stuff by the fishing store because it doesn't really make sense to... Um, kind of have us fish everything up here, necessarily. Doesn't really make a lot of sense. Alright, I'll give it like another maybe minute, and then we'll go and cash it in. We'll see what we're working with. Hopefully we'll get like a really, really... Oh, that's a good one. We'll get a really, really good fish, and uh, that'll kind of carry us maybe towards automation, maybe not. We just don't know yet. We are basically making a mad dash to get a grand. Maybe a grand and a half, because you do need a lot of piping as well for it. Hell is that? It's a new one too. Oh. Cool. Alright. Excellent. So, uh, we're doing pretty well, honestly. I think in my private game, it took us ages to get a shrimp. It took me ages to get a shrimp for the first time, maybe like half an hour. But after that, I just got so many different levels going like crazy. It's also a very unique fish there as well. Don't know what that is. I suppose we'll find out soon. I got that. I think this will be the last fish before we just go over and hand them in. And... Yoink! Whoa, that was a huge one. Good grief. Uh, I'm actually going to drop this here, and I know that we've got a cart somewhere over here. I'm going to use this to kind of move all of our stuff over. Right. Get that there. We'll drop it here. I'll grab this fishing rod. We'll put it on the cart. And we'll grab this bucket right here. Hopefully it won't tip over. Good. Wonderful. Uh, it's also full of water, so all of these fish are still alive as well, which is awesome. Now, let's go all the way over here, back to where we kind of found the fishing rods, and we'll go and cash in all of our fish. We'll see what we have to work with, and if we don't have uh, anywhere near enough to get ourselves the I'm immediate so automation, then I will uh, do a, a little bit more fishing, because we don't necessarily need a lot of money to get the automation started. We just need to come over here. I'd like you to make me something. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, just get off my jock. We need to buy this, 320 bucks. We need to buy this, 430 bucks. That is 550, 850, 850. And we're probably going to need up to 1,000 bucks to get uh, the piping as well that we need to kind of power it as well. Maybe more. Maybe more. Ah, uh, shut up, dude. I didn't buy anything. So we'll come back over here. We will grab this here cart. And let's carry on, my wayward son. There'll be peace when we are done. I think that guy's got a quest for us as well. I'm not really interested in what he has to say, though. I just completely lied. Let's see what he has to Don't say. What's up? Me. I'm just mooching about. Okay, I won't mind you at all. No quest. Good. 
Okay, we'll push on over here, and we are almost home. And we are home. Good. Got anything interesting? Uh, yeah, a bunch of things, but unfortunately no shrimp. So, nothing good there. Now, we need this fishing rod basically here. This is where I caught the shrimp. I'm pretty sure this has got, like, the highest odds of any of the area. Could do with some scrum. Uh, that's good to know. I'm not cooking. I'm not cooking you for you, like buddy. Fish. Uh, yeah. Yeah, what makes you think? <laughs> what makes you say I like fish? Is it the giant bucket full of fish that I am uh, taking to the stock market right now? Let's see how much they are. Uh, they just dropped down way too low. Okay, that's not good. So, uh, we'll have to sell it at this fishmonger right here for 289 bucks. That's a stipend, but, you know, it's still money. I'll leave it here as well. Probably just leave it in that bucket just in case we get any more. But it is what it is. Uh, we'll get this bucket over here. So, I think in total we've got about 650 bucks, maybe 700 bucks. We'll start fishing over here for a little bit. And we'll get ourselves a little bit more of everything. That's a nice fish. I don't think it's the one we need. At all. It is a pretty game though, isn't it? It is a very pretty game. Uh, Kenneth over there is absolutely starving and he's got 75 bucks, but I, he doesn't actually want to go anywhere to ask somebody to cook him seven tomatoes. What a dick. What an actual dick. Poor guy. Okay. Still going along. Getting a bunch of crap fish, unfortunately, but, you know, it is what it is. Biggest can't be choosers all the time. Probably want to start saving all of our fish for the stock market, but I, d I just don't know how fast it's going to be. Maybe we could buy a bed. We could buy a bed and potentially we could just sleep through all the nights, which would maybe halve the refresh speed of all of the stock markets. It may do. It may, it may halve it. Or it may cut it down by a third, because that's really, I think, how night works in this game. Oh, yeah. There we go. <clears throat> I gotta start taking better care of my voice. I gotta start warming up as well, because I started learning belt singing recently, uh, which is quite hard on the old voice. But my warm down is basically to start doing belting and then kind of ease my way into the, the rougher side of it, where you put in a, a little bit of grizzle. Okay, got a little bit there, a little bit of fish, a little bit of stinky, smelly fish. Yucky, stinky fish that live in the uh, in this river right here. Uh, we're emancipating them from their home, and we're putting them in this bucket of water. I don't actually know if that inflates the value of the fish or if they can die or anything like that, but... You know, it's, it's, it's kind of my head cannon that they're not dying in that bucket right there. And we're just selling live fish. But the person we're selling it to, also part of my head cannon, this, the person we're selling it to does not have any fresh water to put the fish in. So all of the fish just kind of, like, die. And the person who buys them is like, oh, well, I didn't want to buy dead fish. I wanted to buy the live fish. Why aren't they alive? And, you know, they're, they're just kind of too stupid to have realized, oh, that's right. I've never caught a fish before, so I don't know where they live. Oh, that was a really, that's a really big one. After this catch, I'm going to go see how much it's worth. Just as a base kind of fish. Boop. Let's see. Yoink. How much is this fish? It better be expensive. 18 bucks. That's actually not that bad, you know. That's pretty good for a fish. Uh, gonna drop that bad boy in there. And face first as well. Just bruise his face. I don't think he was out of the bucket long enough to die, so... Pretty good. Pretty good. We didn't kill the fish. We just saw how much it was worth. And... Yoink. Got another fish. Got a small version of the one we just uh, valued at the... The uh, fishmongers right there. Since we're the ones fishing, I don't know why we're not the ones uh, setting the value of the fish, because if we're the ones fishing, then, you know, supply and demand would dictate that these fish are just ours, right? They're, they're our fish. We are the sole supply of them. All right, we'll catch that one. Very cash money. And what's next? It's always a little bit exciting, isn't it, fishing? Just it, in a way, in a way it's exciting. In a way. It does feel like a casino every time we fish. Oh my god, I am getting old. <laughs> I'm turning 30 this year, and I never thought that I'd find fishing exciting, because uh, when I was a kid, uh, fishing flat out just bored me to hell. And now I'm sitting here thinking, ooh, when am I going to get the shrimp? When's the, when's the next fish coming? I kind of like it. I kind of like it. 
I know it's, it's probably not the most riveting thing to be watching actively. Like, you can put this on in the background and be pretty happy. But at the same time, like, it's, it's pretty nice to see the fish be caught. I never got into, like, Stardew Valley fishing. I was really into Red Dead Redemption fishing. Red Dead Redemption 2. That was really, really fun fishing. Also, Far Cry... Nope, nope, that's just the, the, the tier 3 fish, annoyingly. <sighs> Another one. Oh, well. Another one bites the bucket. Still need a shrimp. A little bit frustrating. But it is what it is. Yep, there's another one of the tier 3 fish. What is going on? I think it's a tier 3 fish. It's what you get the uh, the tier 3 rod for. But we need the shrimp. That's all we need. We only need shrimp. We don't need these tier 3 puffer fish or whatever they're called. We, don't, we only need shrimp. We are getting quite a lot of fish though. Like an ungodly amount of fish. And what's next? Another one of the big fish. Okay. Okay, then. Man, I, I shudder to think what anyone who's uh, coming here for the actual gameplay itself is thinking. Because we're not going to be fishing forever. We're not going to be fishing forever. I do have a, uh, a macro set up. Unpopular opinion. I've got a macro set up to fish while I kind of like go to the bathroom and stuff. But other than that, we should just spend most of this... Uh, playthrough essentially focusing on exclusively automating the first few machines which will not take very long at all it's it's not going to take very long in fact we're probably going to get to the point where we can start automating the repair of the machines as well because they do degrade annoyingly machines do degrade and then they break and you need to kind of like buy a, a superfluous consumable to uh, repair them up to their, their, their better parts which is a little bit of a shame. I think in the early builds of this game, there was no repair mechanics, but there is now repair mechanics, which I don't know if I necessarily agree with it. It's, it's the logic stuff came in right in a patch and it all started kind of getting fairly complex. You could do some pretty, pretty cool stuff with the logic circuits, but unfortunately with the logic circuits, it also introduced repairing the machines. And uh, that alone was just, Straight up obnoxious. The machines now break, and they don't break slowly, they break quick. And when they break, they just stop working until you use a consumable on them. The consumables are not exactly cheap. They're about 50 bucks for a single kind of like full repair, or uh, 500, no, 220 for a big five pack of them. And there's no bigger that you can buy. So the fact that you have to either individually use every single one of these machines on there until you get to the point where you're using logic circuits or there's literally just the annoyance of having to buy so many of these packs of repair tools because you do need like the, the game gets to a point where if you don't have logic circuits you could need a hundred of these repair items at once to fix your entire uh, chain of automation or even 200 if everything breaks I honestly, like, it's an okay mechanic with the logic circuits, but at the same time, there are limitations to the logic circuits. For example, you can only put 20 repair uh, items into a logic circuit, and then you go away, basically. You go and do whatever else you want to do, probably in a different zone entirely. Go and catch a bunch of other stuff. Uh, go and maybe set up automation in a different zone. I'll show you the uh, map of the place when we get back home as well. Which probably is just going to be after the next fish. I think we've actually got enough to set up the automation pretty, pretty clearly. What is next? Shrimp? No, it's not shrimp. All right, let's leave that rod there because we can't get anything better. And we'll come over here. We'll exchange our... Nice. We definitely have enough to set up the first automation machine. Boop. That's satisfying as hell. I do really like how you drop money on itself and it just stacks. Really, really cool. Uh, probably going to need the cart that we brought in here, though. So we'll grab this. We can't use this and use the money. No, we can't. So let's drop this in the back of the cart right here. We'll face this way so we don't have to spend ages turning the damn thing. And we'll just walk back home. We do need the cart. We, we do need the cart to kind of get goodies from the store, which is strangely, annoyingly far away from the first base, but at the same time, annoyingly close. So it, it kind of baits you into a false sense of time management where you think, oh, well, I'd be just in a really, really good place to... Uh, you know, kind of individually move every single pipe and piece back home. But that's not really the case at all. So we'll leave that there. We'll grab all this money. Uh, where was the other money that we had? Is it in here? There is some money in there. How much have we got? 800 bucks. Still need more, don't we? 
It's only more over here, I think. We left some money on the ground. I see it way off in the distance over there. Uh, let's drop this right here and we'll see what we have to work with. 1,200. That's That should actually be enough. That should be ample. So first things first, we'll get these two pieces of automation right here. And it's probably not worth setting them up until we get all the piping. Oh, that's right. I forgot to pay for it. Okay, we'll drop that there, and we'll drop that there. Now, you can only buy one of these each, annoyingly, so we're going to have to craft the rest of these, which may take a while, but it's not actually as bad as it might sound. Uh, hopefully that doesn't fall out. I think that's safe. And we'll also grab this one. We'll drop this one in the cart too. Boop. Man, that is an eyesore, isn't it? Uh, let's get all of this money, because we're going to need a few pieces. We're going to need a, uh, a few pieces, and we're probably also going to want to, like, think in advance for the bits we're going to want to set up to. We got 400 bucks. That's pretty good, actually. We'll want at least two straights, I think. Two straight pipes right here and right here. And we're also going to want uh, this here intake pipe to get the water mm -hmm. out in the first place. And you'll see exactly what all of these do when I start setting them up. We'll want a valve hook to shut off the water in case we uh, even need to. And we do need to air points. We're going to take this here elbow pipe. Uh, good. And we're also probably going to want this here T pipe too. What else? Maybe a cork? 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 I'm not taking a cork. Okay. Uh, this is pretty much... I'm happy with this. 218 bucks. You can kind of see where all the money goes initially. We'll leave that there, and we'll put this one also on here. Great. The thing about the cart, and this truck also, we can put things in the back of this truck, the same way this cart works, is that they don't clip onto each other. Whereas, when you're outside of these things, they do stack onto each other, which can get really obnoxious really, really quickly. Uh, we're also probably, actually, while I'm here, going to want one of these concrete floors. They're five bucks each, and uh, they are really handy. Good. Uh, we'll grab that. We'll drop it back there. We will come out here, and I think we'll make a mad dash all the way to the end here. So, how I like to set this up initially is, basically, we get a set of piping for the sorting system, which is going to come later, and we also get a uh, set of piping set up for the actual automation machines, like these. So we'll get these out of the cart right here so we can actually see the piping. We want to kind of get this T-pipe first. No, we want to get the intake pipe, which I can't see. Where the hell is it? <laughs> did I actually... Did I actually buy it? I was certain I did. Did I not? Maybe I didn't. Oh, maybe it was the thing that uh, Wilhelm screamed out of my hands when I tried to leave the store without paying. Hard to tell. Hard to tell. We'll just get another one. Okay, good. We're going to need a few of them anyway. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay, I'm going to buy both uh -huh. of these. Because uh -huh. by the time we want to come back here, we're probably also going to want that one too. All right, let's grab this one that we already bought. And we'll come over here. We'll start setting this bad boy up. <clears throat> now, I do have a workflow. I do have a workflow for this game uh, that I'm actually uh, pretty happy with. So, essentially, we want to find the boundary... I think it's about here yeah and we want to kind of have this front bit set up let's rotate this um as the sorting system so we're going to go one more over for the actual machinery and believe it or not i'm going to stick it like way back here now this is just going to constantly drip out water which powers all the machines uh we are going to want a maybe a straight straight off the bat and the reason i've stuck it so far back here is not because it's like better water or anything like that we're actually going to stick a t junction in here so we can have a big line of these automation machines eventually once we get into the crafting but for now we are going to be uh really really happy just piping into one of these bad boys let's set this up so it's facing upwards there we go excellent let's turn the taps off and we'll want another straight one so that we can put the t junction there eventually uh, and then we're going to want to start piping into the machinery here. Now, so we're actually going to want to pick a rather strategic place for this. Which is probably going to be maybe... What the hell? Oh, we can stick this further along than I thought. Uh, let's stick it here. We're going to rotate it this way. And stick it right there. So we're going to need a couple more pipes to just uh, filter those in. But we're also going to need to pipe in this other one right here so what this one does is it kind of like farms up earth that's under it and then it spews it into uh this little doodad here which spits out ores this basically is the brush and this basically is a shovel so 
Um, very, very helpful. Uh, I think we've got... Nope, we're actually going to want to move this over here. And we're going to need another straight. And we want to put this elbow kind of piped into the back right here. Right there. And we'll put that there. We need one straight, two straights. We need two straights. Now, see what I'm saying about getting into a false sense of security about the... Uh, distance of this shop you can you can run there of course but it actually if you start timing how much time you spend running to and fro the uh, shops it is generally just worth having a cart if you're picking up more than two items okay 44 bucks i'm happy with that how much have we got left 163 that is more than enough that we need for um for the automation which we have actually almost set up believe it or not now i know that digging deeper into the earth gives us better materials as well but at the same time we haven't done that yet, and we can actually do that while this thing is going, which generates ore, which generates money. So uh, we can kind of get ourselves in a better spot for when we can set up everything essentially underground. I'm not going to set up anything underground yet, though. That's the thing. I'm not going to set anything up underground. What I am going to be doing is I am going to uh, dig out all of the soil in this area, and then we are going to just line up a bunch of machines below, as low to the surface level as we can possibly manage, so that we can get ourselves uh, basically the most effective automation that we can. We're going to take this. Uh, we kind of want the flattest part to be on the bottom so that we can see the uh, kind of regions that we're working with. Okay, this is fine, I guess. We can't really do anything useful per se. Uh, I'm going to put that there, and we actually want another bucket as well, while we remember. We want another bucket because we want all of the ores to not just be shot out of the uh, the peen of the machine straight onto the ground. Where are they? There they are. So we'll get this pan right here. How much is it? 12 bucks. I'll pay that, definitely. That is definitely worth 12 bucks. That's actually... it's The pans are really, really cheap, and uh, they kind of carry into mid-game as well, so it's good just having a heap of these pans. Now, where do we want to stick this? Probably, like, maybe here? Uh, we'll see how this works. Okay, that's on. Now we need to hit this lever. So, that thing's going to fire off. No, it's not. We turned it off. No, we didn't. We turned it off there. Uh, oh, that's right. We need the actual ore as well. We need the ore. So, we're going to come over here, and we're going to grab the shovel from this river right here that we dropped it in. I'm going to just grab any old dirt and we are going to shove it right up this thing's bottom. Boop. There we go. So that lump of dirt, believe it or not, will actually function as a source block. So we turn this on. Boom. And it outputs ore. Perfect. We just got our first automated iron ore, which is awesome. And all of this is going to fire out into this bucket. Now, we can get further automation for a sorting system. But that also costs a few thousand dollars, so we are not going to do that just yet. Now, also, if I can afford it, I'm going to go and get a bed, because I don't really like working in the dark. I don't think anybody really likes working in the dark unless they're fishing, so we'll just get this, and when it gets too dark, we'll use it. Oop. Great. And we'll put this uh, probably not close to the mining facilities, but we'll try and put it, like, here would be a pretty good place. I know it looks like absolute ass. Actually, let's turn it sideways so it doesn't look like such ass. Maybe, maybe here? Yeah, that's nice. So now we can sleep through the night. Wonderful. Now, while that thing's going off, I'm actually going to... Well, uh, let's check the bucket to see if it works through the night. Well, it might actually speed it up. Oh, actually, there is a bunch of stuff in there. I'm not really seeing a lot of kind of like goodies, though. That's the thing. I'm not, I'm not seeing a hell of a lot of goodies. Just seeing basically iron... Oh, what's that? Oh, that's just gold. So we've got gold, iron, and we're also getting a lot of this stuff here, which is the glowing ore, which is uh, pretty handy later. Let's go back to the fishing for a bit. We'll come back to that machine, and I'm pretty sure we'll have enough ore to essentially set up a sorting system of some, some kind. Specific. That's nice. Oh, actually, we could probably satisfy his requirement. With the next paycheck that we get, because we don't know the weight of any of the ore that's coming out of that machine right now. That's that's our main issue right here. And the reason I'm going back to fishing instead of mining out the dirt to get ourselves a little bit better... Uh, I wonder where yes. all these boots come from. Uh, it's probably upstream, buddy. Either that or people are having some real romps in here. Uh, we need a bucket. <laughs> we have a bucket just over here. That's awesome. Let's pour the water out so that we don't uh, accidentally... 
you know, get the fish to survive. And let's start fishing. We want a little bit of money, and the reason we want a bit of money is uh, one, for a sorting system, two, for a pickaxe that is not tier one, because uh, every pickaxe tier, there are pickaxe tiers, by the way, every pickaxe tier that you find has a bigger area of effect when you mine, and when you are mining, you don't get to keep the dirt, but it doesn't matter, because all of the ore generation is based on the level that you're on, so we can take basically surface level soil from somewhere else, bring it to the lowest level of the area that we want to um, farm up and then that will give us uh, a lot of uh, kind of like high tier ores I suppose you could say very very bougie ores wonderful no ifs and buts only ores so once we get enough fish hopefully we'll get like a shrimp in the next like I'll do this for say five minutes we'll get ourselves a few fish hopefully we'll be able to get ourselves uh, some automation going we kind of need ourselves a few other little items as well. Once we get a sorting system, we are going to essentially skip having to do any of the game of uh, sorting by hand, which is a pain in the ass. You individually pick up ore out of a bucket, and if you pick up the bucket, you have to put it back down, uh, which does shave off a lot of time. You have to readjust yourself, and then you have to go back to it. You need a bunch of buckets to do so as well. We don't want to do that. We basically want a uh, system of conveyor belts that sort all of these stuff for us. And there's going to be a few items of convenience that I will want on it rather than need on it. Uh, for example, there is something called a centralizer, which on the conveyor belts, um, the machines will just spew onto the conveyor belts uh, willy-nilly random locations on the conveyor belt. And a there's a centralizer hook that allows you to kind of centralize all of those cores. That's really handy, because it means that when you start having them split off from the conveyor belts, they'll land in the same place almost every time, and that means you can have them all just drop into a bucket instead of just flying randomly onto the floor, which, again, you would have to pick up by hand. Or with uh, something called a magnet stick, which, unless you've got a lot of conveyor belts, you can't really reliably do that with a single ore because it'll attract everything around you. So we won't uh, worry about that too much, necessarily. Uh, we've already got the automation set up, though, which is uh, pretty nice. It's pretty goddamn good. So uh, the next step, I suppose, is going to be to get the sorting system. There's not really a lot else that I'm going to prioritize yet because we just want, in this session, the foundations for a reasonably successful mine in the first area. And then once we get enough money, once we get that automation to basically uh, fund our budding empire... We're going to move. We're going to move to a different dig site with uh, kind of higher tier ores. But we are going to need to get higher tier ores first to be able to craft the items that are needed to mine the higher tier ores from the other locations. Which means we definitely need some kind of automation set up in the first area, which we currently have. I need to sneeze. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to sneeze. Or maybe I am. <coughs> oh, I missed the fish. Oh, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, everyone in my flat is sick as well, so I don't know if, like, my voice being so thrashed after the stream I did a couple of days ago is based on that, but I am pl I was always planning to stream this game for a long time. It's just, now I'm actually getting around to doing it. I do really like this game. It holds a, a special place in the in the more dull series uh, area of my heart. It's a, it's a great game. Absolutely fantastic game. And it's one of those games that really... It rewards you just doing anything. Like New World, that MMO that Jeff Bezos put out, which was also really fun. It doesn't matter what you're doing, so long as you're just kind of like doing something, you're accruing levels and you're just getting better at it every, every single time. Whereas uh, instead of like skills and experience in, this, in uh, New World, you'll be accruing um, more and more resources to eventually break the game with. Okay, how are we looking? Maybe another minute. I'll be I'll be fishing for. This guy over here is just looking out over the lake, watching us fish a uh, fish every single eight seconds or so. I think he's just jealous as hell. He's starving to death. He wants us to make him a tomato soup. I'm not going to make him a tomato soup. I don't want to. But he's looking at us fish up all these fish, and he's thinking, "Oh my god, there's an endless supply of resources right in front of me. And if only I had twenty bucks to buy a fishing rod, I could probably also create a monopoly of fish." And yet here he is, 
bound by the laws of the programmer's desire to just stand there and not do anything for the rest of his life. Wow. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Like, there's two things, right? There's, I'm a bit late to the stream today. Hey, there's Scott's World. It's not a particularly, like... We're not doing anything particularly exciting. We're going to be setting up a gigantic monopoly of uh, mining in this game. Could you imagine? Could you imagine this guy, right, either goes home, he, he doesn't know anything about the endless resources of fish in front of him, he doesn't know anything about the infinite money generation that we're currently doing, or he does know about it and he just simply cannot do it. He's limited to doing so. Even though there's resources all over the place and fishing rods are everywhere and money's pretty easy to come by, he uh, doesn't have a single brush and shovel, so he, he can't get enough money to get his fishing rod, which means he can't access the free money. Right, I'm still actually genuinely surprised that we haven't found a single shrimp yet, so we can't get the upgraded rod. Which would have uh, possibly even doubled the amount of money that we get from fishing by now. But it's a bit, it's a bit fine. It's a bit fine. It's a lovely day, actually. Maybe I will start fishing, IRL. I don't know, like, it's always bored me, and I've, I've always been terrible at it. Especially with rods. I'm really, really good at a line, but... Uh, with an actual stick and a rod, I've never been able to, to fish. I've, always, I've only been able to fish with either a bow or just literally a hook on the end of a piece of string. Because I can kind of feel the end of a piece of string. How's the game been going? It's been going pretty good, actually. Uh, we've already, within an hour, set up our first little kind of like necessi necessary pieces of automation. And we are fishing kind of unsuccessfully for the next rod. It... It hasn't been coming. We uh, get a lot of these fish, which we need for the third tier rod, but we're on the first tier rod, and we need to get the second tier to get the third tier. And we need a shrimp. We need we need a single shrimp to get the uh, the second tier rod, unfortunately. Uh, Kenneth over here asked us to make him a soup, and uh, we rejected his desire to uh, cook him a soup, so he's um, basically starving to death, as is probably... As you could probably tell by his green skin, he's, uh, he's, he's a little bit sick, he's quite malnourished, and he's probably very, very jealous of the fact that we are accruing food and resources like uh, Jeff Bezos in New World. Not in the sense that he was playing New World, but in the sense that he made New World and he <laughs> made a lot of money off of the sales of it. Like, a lot of money off of the sales of it. I guess it just goes to show what happens when you make a good game, huh? Okay, still not finding a shrimp. I'm going to do this for maybe like another minute. And if we don't find a shrimp, uh, we'll just go back to the mining. Because I think we've got enough money to kind of at least start the planning of our sorting system. I just finished watching Child's Play 1 to 3 back to back. Great choices. Great choices. What are the, um, what are the newer ones called? There's, there's two Child's Play movies that kind of broke away from the, the goofy comedies that they ended up kind of delving into. And they started being like actual horrors. The ones with Nika, I think. The one in the mental asylum and the one in the house. I think one of them was supposed to be kind of like a remake of the first one. And it just ended up being uh, its its own completely different movie. It kind of like set in the same universe as what happened in the first movie. But also uh, just kind of very, very cheekily tipping their fedora to the conventions in the first one as well. Oh, Child's Play 3. Is that the one where uh, with, with the Chucky wanking scene? The really funny uh, shadow of the of the puppet beating himself off. Elvo G, hi, I'm back. Welcome, Elvo G. Uh, my voice is toast, so I'm playing a relaxing game today. Dolls play one to three. Bride and Seed, Curse and Cult. Oh, Curse and Cult. I loved them. Has anybody seen the TV show recently? Just checking in. Hi, I'm I'm doing good. Uh, my voice is a little bit naff, and I think I'm catching a cold, but I'm pretty happy because I'm playing a game right now. Curse and Cult were both very good as well. Yeah, I fully agree. I fully agree. Honestly, like, Child's Play is probably one of my favorite series. There's also Evil Dead, which has very, very um, similar things. Seed of Chucky is that one. Have you seen it? Have you seen Seed of Chucky? It's so funny. It is such a funny one. Every episode, yes, it's so good, isn't it? I love the, um, I love the episode where Chucky's, like, uh, killing the guard in the hospital with the needle, and he sticks the needle into the guard, and, like, blood spews out of his fingertips. That is so funny. I can subscribe. Bye. Yes, everyone do that. Everyone do that. But chances are, if you found the stream and uh, you're watching me play it, chances are you are already subscribing because you liked it. Uh, let's see how much this fish is worth. Uh, yeah, I'm about to find, about, uh, find out, buddy. 470 bucks. That's not bad. Not bad, actually. Uh, we'll leave this bucket over here for now. We may come back to the fishing very, very shortly. But we honestly, in terms of progress, we have made a lot of progress 
in the recent, like, 50 minutes that this has been uh, streamed in. Trying to slowly introduce my friends to these movies. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh, I saw the first, um... You anthology. The Child's Play Anthology from before the TV series came out. And I loved every single one of them. So I got all of my friends to watch them uh, over a course of several movie nights. And now they love it as well. And uh, they, they they absolutely adore the TV series too. Um, I actually see it. Oh, piss. So we've actually just spewed a bunch of crap all over the floor over here. But you can actually see that the automation has been working in our favor very, very well. I think we just kind of like misplaced the bucket a little bit. Not ultimately misplaced it, because uh, it seems like every time it it ejaculates one of the ores, it just bounces off to the side. So I think there's a couple kind of like overshooting it. Maybe we'll see one. No, we probably won't. Uh, let's actually knock that down, and we will take our money, put it in this bucket right here. We'll see what we have kind of to work with after we sell all of this ore and stuff, minus all the glowing stuff, because apparently we can't sell that. We started Bride today, but he doesn't seem to like it so far. Right, iffy. I'd say it's probably the worst in the series, but at the same time, I still loved every single one of them. Right, good, and wow, 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 we were. This might actually be enough we need to get the sorting system that we were just talking about. 1,400 bucks. That is a lot of buckery booze. Uh, we're gonna come down here. This shop right here probably still has a little bit of money for us in there. I don't know if we'll get the full sorting system yet, but we might get a pretty significant chunk of it with the money here that we have. We got 1500 bucks minimum. Yep, 1600 bucks. Wow. Put that in there. And now we're off. We're going to put all of this into the back of this truck right here, which, surprise, surprise, we own. I preferred Bride to Seed, but I love Seed as well. Seed was, uh, Seed was... It's not horror. It's not horrific, right? It's it's definitely a parody of the entire series, which I adored. I I, I adored that the franchise didn't take itself too seriously to make fun of itself. Essentially, that that's the uh, that's the staple of a genius writer. Don Mancini is a genius writer, and I think he knows this because I'm pretty sure he calls himself a genius writer several times across the course of the uh, TV series. All right, good. What did you think of Lexi's redemption arc? Because all of uh, my friends were like, oh, God, I hate that that little girl. I hate her so much. She's so rubbish. And then, like, at the start of the second season, people were all like, oh, that's... I like her. Yeah, she, she's good now. Uh, is this where we want to be? No. Oh, we probably actually want one of these scales. 146 bucks. That's definitely worth it. Good. Now we can start doing quests. Uh, I'm going to fire this into the back of the truck right there. And we're going to take this money... Money, 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 and we'll drop it in here. And now we want to start buying sorting system things like these here conveyor belts. So we want this straight one for 220 bucks. We're going to want a right bend. No, we're going to want another straight one, I think, so we can centralize everything. Uh, we want this. Yeah, we definitely want a right bend. How much is this? That's going to be 680 bucks. Now we want two of these splitters to go right. I don't know if we can afford both of these, 1,212. No, we can't afford both. But we can now start splitting off at least one resource, which is pretty good. I think Seed went a bit too far. The show got a perfect bar balance of meta and pirate. I fully agree. Damn it, we forgot to buy it. We forgot to actually pay for it. Which one was it? Right. This one right here. Huh? You will huh? find better prices huh? than these. Huh? 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 Okay, let's go and put this in. The, let's actually move the truck so it's a little bit easier to access. Because again, if you're moving more than like two things, it's best to actually orient uh, a vehicle. Oh, I made a bucket. That's unusual. No, I <laughs> POV, you are the ore. Oops, didn't want it. Okay, we're back in the bucket. Uh, let's grab this one. We'll put it up here. Uh huh? The reason he's going huh is because uh, there's an item that the... Uh, that the items are clipping into. So we got at least one of these items right here. We probably want to accrue more money. However, that's the thing. We probably want to accrue more money, and I just realized that we didn't leave the... Uh, we didn't leave the automation machine going, so... That's a, a little bit of a shame. We probably lost a, a few resources out on that, but... This right here is that uh, place that I was talking about earlier, where you basically buy all of the resources in the game. And I... You're probably supposed to be taking the road as kind of like a, a cannon in the game, but I don't really like doing that. I just like driving straight through this river. 
It's funny as well, because this car is powered on water, and if it's getting real low, then you just drive it into the river and immediately shovel some some water into the top there. Can't wait to give you the um, the next Amnesia Custom Story. Yeah, I can't wait to play it. Uh, not looking forward to Slender, though. It never clicked with me. Uh, like, a lot of my friends played. I could probably actually get some of my friends to just, like, come in and play it for the YouTube channel, just to see if they're any good at it, because I, I don't think any of them played it when it was popular. I definitely did. I definitely did. And all the friends that uh, I had back when... Back when uh, I was playing games like that uh, on a crappy laptop at my at my mother's place. Uh, I don't hang out with any of those friends anymore. <laughs> half of them ended up moving away and the other half uh, ended up being terrible people. So I kind of... Uh, we, we, do, we just have conflicting personalities, I'd say. But yeah, the, the Slender Games, it was a... It was the cryptid I never really clicked with. I was more into creepypastas like I Know You're Awake or... SCP Foundation. Loved SCP Foundation so much. But there's a Slender Man never really clicked with me. We need our bucket, don't we? We need our bucket to get all of these automated ores and stuff. Right here. We'll take this one right here and I'll jump that. Stick it maybe... Maybe here. So says the, the engineer. Let's turn it on, see what happens. That actually looks pretty good. Wait, did that just hit the ground? It didn't go through, did it? What the hell is this? Oh, an uncut ruby. Nice. Okay, we'll keep that. We'll stick it in this other bucket over here. Make sure to get the exact one I sent you. What, the uh, the original Slender? It's <laughs> it's easy to find. It's easy for someone to, uh, like me to find. It's real easy to find. Um, it's hard. Uh, there's so many clones, though, aren't there? There's so many clones uh, that people made of the game. That it is kind of like a little bit fiddly if you don't know what you're looking for to find it now. All right. Get all of these sorting items out and about. Now, the reason I got all those straight conveyors is because we want to put a couple of hooks on them to uh, make the ore a little bit easier to process. Let's put this here. I'm actually going to go straight to bed because I can't really see anything. There we go. And we've slipped. Nice. Let's do some engineering. Good. So I don't think this thing does... Oh, maybe it does spew out ores throughout the night. Maybe it would be in our best interest to sleep through the night like i i don't know <laughs> i can't tell i've seen you a very particular one make sure you get the one from the link i've gotten is it like a it's not a troll one is it because i've got the original one installed on my computer i've had it installed on my computer since like 2017 when someone else re requested that i play it way way back then okay this all looks fine uh we're probably gonna need to repair these machines very very soon but i don't think we're gonna need to do it uh, immediately just yet Let's go ahead and start thinking about the piping for this, because we are going to need specific piping for this um, area here. Right. We're going to need an intake. We're going to need one, two. We're going to need an intake, which we could probably put here and it'll still draw water. We're going to need two straight, three straights, four straights. We're we'll going to intake and four straights. And since it's more than two, we'll get this cart as well. Okay. Okay, we'll come on up and at him. Yeah, back when I was building, uh, someone <laughs> found out that I basically mastered the Slender uh, game, so they wanted to know how I played it, and I had to show them through, like, a, a, a private uh, Skype stream, which is pretty funny. There is a reason. I uh, shudder to think what that reason is. All right, we've already bought an intake, which is pretty funny. We forgot to bring any money over. I wonder if that's going to stay there. Who knows? One way to find out. We can probably take our time now since we already have the automation m m relatively set up. Let's get this lamp. I'm going to put it over here by the uh, work area so maybe we can actually see in the dark. I didn't, I didn't realize we had this lamp. Let's put that there. Oh, piss. One of them overshot. That's fine. All right, where's the money? Money's in the back of the car, right? There we go. Good, 260 bucks. That'll be probably more than enough. If it's not more than enough, then I'm going to have a conniption. Here we go. And my goods. Those Pan Clang brothers are a bit podgy. You gotta your goods are flat. I hate to say it, buddy. Your goods are massively you, you're reaching. You're reaching Don't for a sale, me. I'd say. I'm just mooching about. Is this guy flirting with us? I feel like he's flirting with us. Oh, uh the map, that's right. So you wanna see the map, so. We are basically at the Ember Cradle store. There's a tiny little, like, 
blue dot on the map moving around right now. That's oh, us. We are mining Ember Cradle, and we keep going to Burnscroft to fish, because that's where everything fishes. We're selling everything at Bastion Keep. And all of the kind of, like, exclamation mark points, that's Bridgeport. That's where we buy everything. So we're eventually going to need to uh, go over there for a bunch of different crap. Uh, let's get these iron pipes right here. I don't think we can stick them on the cart and then bring them to the... Let's actually find out, because I, I don't know. Let's see. Because this would be way easier. Oh, we can! Okay, so we only need, like, four of these, I think, right? Come have a gander. Yeah, I'm, I'm gandering. I'm gandering, don't you worry. Boop. And we'll grab this, and we'll stick it on here. That's good to know. I didn't actually know that was a thing. 88 bucks. Hell yeah, I'll take that. Good, we'll get this cart back to the automation station and then we'll start thinking about the oh we also need a t-junction don't we okay that's only one item so we'll go back for that no oh, we also need a oh we need a valve as well unfortunately so we need more than one item i think we probably should have just turned back around and, and done it all right let's put this where it should go which is i think it would work here oh damn the uh, automation machine I think it broke. Yeah, it definitely broke. Okay, we're gonna have to go and buy ourselves a repair kit, unfortunately. What were your thoughts on Delta in Chapter 2? I don't have enough bad to say about it. There's, uh, honestly, like, when I think about just how good Chapter 2 was, I cannot think about any single bad thing to say about it. How much money do we have? Okay. So, there's also these consumables here. There's a five pack in there. They're a little bit cheaper, but we can't actually afford them right now, so I'm just gonna. Go ahead and buy this. Yeah, no, it was it was amazing. Man, I loved it so much. I'm super excited to play um, uh, the, uh, Undertale. I'm super excited to play that. It was such a good game, Deltarune. All right, that is uh, busting its load all over the ground right there. I'm going to stick that right there. We're going to put a valve intake on there. We're going to put a T-junction right after that right there as well. So let's actually go back and get one. We don't need a shut-off valve just yet, though. That's the thing. We don't need a shut-off valve just yet. We just need a T-junction because we don't really want the sorting system to shut off until we are ready to kind of, like, uh, harvest our, our goods from it. Whoops. Wilhelm, I forgot to pay. Sorry, I, uh... Oh, uh, sorry, I, uh, I forgot to pay. Sorry, uh, but what's that guy doing here? He's, um... He keeps offering me his goods, but he's... He's clearly not selling anything. Don't mind me. I'm just mooching about. All right. So be it. Let's buy this pipe. Right here. I got Twenty-eight. The if you got the cash. Dude, come on. That's harassing me now. When you go to Snowgrave, it's <laughs> the last thing you'll need for hundred percent. Awesome. I, uh, I'm going to do that for my pacifism run, which is a little bit strange. We killed Spamton. I don't know if that was necessarily a good idea. We killed Spamton. I killed him first guy as well. We killed him in the um, in the killing run, but we pacified Chevel, and Spamton said something a little bit strange, which makes me kind of want to go back and not kill Spamton to uh, kind of get him maybe referenced in the following chapters too. Because the thing about Jevil, right, is we released him into the world and Spamson had some unusual dialogue about how there's a devil loose in the a clown, sorry, a clown loose in the world uh, laughing at him. Come on, and go. the more he spoke, the more I kind of had this realisation that Spamton yeah. and Jevil are part of something elevated higher than the base story itself. And I'm not talking Dark World base story. I think that's completely made up. I think that's like all projections from a child's imagination. The real world... I think is where kind of like the surface level lore is and we got a sneak peek of the kind of bunker in there um and all the pieces fitting together i'm kind of being led to assume that we are in fact the uh maybe the antichrist you won't find better prices than these maybe maybe we're the antichrist and uh toriel is kind of like protecting us goats also are quite representative of uh satanism as well so satanic rituals and stuff but here's the thing that got me Here's the thing that got me. Jevil and Spamton both feel elevated above the light world and above the dark world. I would research how to get to Snowgrave, because if you ever do a pacifist run at the same time as Snowgrave one, I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to uh, kind of like try my best to spear all of the secret bosses in the killing playthrough. 
because I feel like... I feel like it's biblical, right? Jevil really came across as a demon bartering us for our soul in exchange for his freedom. So, you're kind of also referencing Spamton into that. Spamton seemed like a, a possessed puppet with a human soul inside of it. And of course, uh, referencing Axelino16 uh, let me know about this like ad for Big Shots that was around 1997 where I think the game is supposed to have taken place. But I feel like that is just kind of like an ad that the puppet came across on the internet because that's what the entire zone is based around. What I really think is that the Michael inside the body, the person that's trapped in there, is not actually the salesman from that commercial, but the archangel Michael. Weird, eh? He wants to ascend to heaven and he sees the one who is pulling his strings as his limitation. Uh, he's a puppet. I feel like Toby Fox is supposed to be God. Because Toby Fox is uh, pulling the strings on, on good old Spamton there. And it really does seem like there is something bigger. Like, like, like angels and demons are trying to revolt against the programming creator. Did you do the secret boss for chapter two? If that's Spamton, then yes. If it's not Spamton, uh, probably not. No. Oh, look at that. We overshot a couple of things. Okay, now that we've got this here, we can start sticking the, what's my doodles onto it? Right here. And that's the right bend. I'll put that there. We need a straight pipe for here. We need two straight pipes ahead of it. Well, maybe even three, actually. But we are now kind of getting to the point where we're running out of money, too. So we're going to have to be a little bit more sparing on that. Uh, don't know what the hell the game's placement is doing to me, but it's not functioning as it should be. All right, one there. Okay, so once we turn on this water, it's basically going to make these conveyor belts uh, flow forward, I think. We'll get a straight one here, because I don't think it's going to cock out on the right bend, unless we move everything over one, or we move this over one as well. But that's actually going to be a lot harder to move than this right here, so I think maybe we just move this over, oh, but that, it's got the big rock in the way, so we can't really do that either. All right, let's get our rightmost splitter to face the right way, and we'll place it right there. No, I did actually want a straight path leading into this one, didn't I? A straightener. Big spam tip. Uh, no. Um, it, without spoiling anything, actually, no, was kind enough to let me know that Big Spamton is not... You, you either spear Spamton and he ascends, or you kill Spamton and you don't get anything, right? That's that's basically that was uh, told to me. I don't know anything else about him at all. You know what, I'm actually going to uh, put this straight one in front, because we may need it there anyway to kind of like flush out this really, really annoying section of sorting system. Now that we've got that, we need a single straight pipe. We need a single straight pipe. We need another straight conveyor belt right there. And then we are... No, actually, let's not. Let's shut this off right here. Let's depower that. And it's not going to go again. Wonderful get all of this out of the way we'll use that to generate the last of the money we need for the sorting system right here and we will place this which way is it facing probably like this huh? Huh? i don't know if that's facing the right way let's make sure it was not good and now it's facing the right way put this here and we'll put the right bend on he is it facing the right way yes we'll put the right bend here we'll get another one of these blocks right here so that we can stick a bucket down and it's going to sort everything into basically whatever we put onto the slot right up top right here. Yeah, okay, I won't, I wouldn't fight him until Snowgrave. Okay, I'll do that. I don't really have a choice. Uh, he is really fun, by the way. He's a really, really cool lore drop. I love Spampton so much. So now we can actually, believe it or not, we can turn this on and it'll start dropping all of these resources onto this conveyor belt right here, which we don't really give two hoots about. Simply because it's, it's not that bad. And if we just turn this on then it'll start conveying all of these resources basically through here. Well, I'll turn that off, of course. And we need a splitter right here, so I'm going to shift all of these over here. Oh, nice. Got an emerald right there. Very cash money. We can also get a gem polisher, which we are definitely going to get in the future as well, but can't afford it just yet, so not going to worry about that too much. Uh, I'll leave this lantern here. I think it's getting dark, so we might want to have a sleep 
I'm going to take this scale right here and we probably want to stick it somewhere quite close to where we are. Maybe here? Yeah, it's good. So, so someone asked us for one of these little bits of iron that weigh uh, 1.5 or higher. So I'm going to actually look for one of these. This one's very heavy. Nope, that one's not heavy. This one I think is really heavy. Yeah, 1.35. That's close, but it's not it's, ugh, exactly what we need. So I'm going to put this resource right there. And what the splitter is now going to do is put anything that's not a piece of iron. It's going to dump it off the edge there. And across here is going to be a bucket for the iron itself. So uh, we're going to take all of our resources from this bucket right here. We're going to go sell them. We're going to go and sell all of these things. We're going to see how much we have to work with. And then we'll see whether or not we can get all of those little extras that I was talking about. Like the, um, the centralizer hook and the other thing. The gem polisher. Because uh, both of them save you a heap of money in the long run. And a lot of time too. Did you know All right. These oh. are by multiplying the base price by its weight. No, I, I didn't. But uh, thank you. Do you have like a sign saying what the base price is? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, look, there's a lot of money. That's a grand, by the way. That is a grand. That is heaps. It's good we caught you to play these just in time for chapter 3 and 4 release later this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was actually why I played them now. Like, you guys were... Uh, re People have been requesting I play that since 2019 when I first, like, got into streaming regularly on Twitch. Not regularly per se, but, like, hobby level version of regularly. Very, very good game. Very good game. And what I wanted was quality control on my channel enough for me to be able to kind of do justice to games that are so beloved by so many communities. Cake Empire Bob, hi. Hello there, Cake Empire Bob. Welcome to the stream. Now, in saying that though, there are a lot of games that now I have the quality control to get away with playing. Deathloop, uh, basically anything by, Ar by Arcane that's not Redfall, per se. But anything by Arcane that's, that's just really good, like the uh, Dishonored series. I'll be playing those in the very near future too. I can't wait for them too. They're some of my favorite games ever. Uh, Doom as well. I'm going to be playing Doom 2016 and uh, Doom Eternal. I don't know if I'm going to play it before or after Doom Medieval, but, me. you know, it'll be there when I finish them, regardless. So, now that we are in a pretty good spot financially, we could probably start... What do we want to do? We definitely need two blocks of floor. That's probably going to be the most immediate thing, because we need buckets on these to catch all of our goodies. And while I'm also reminded, we need a bucket. Uh, thanks for the chilling. I don't know why you need to tell me that so many times, but... Like, I'm already buying here. I'm already buying here. What the hell is this guy's deal? Alright, so we'll get the stones out. We'll kind of flip it so that the flat bit's on the bottom. Because when everything's flat, you can't really tell what you're looking at, necessarily. Uh, this one's going to be on the end. So we're going to go and get the last piece of floor. And we're going to stick it on the end. Hopefully there won't be any iron flying out. Oh, there will actually be, because we left the machine on. Get that. And we'll come all the way over here. Probably... It's about time for us to buy a hammer, too. Uh, hammers are really, really handy because they kind of... They take the position that you've locked something in and it just stops you from being able to accidentally pick it up. So we're probably going to want to do that. Uh, let's take this bucket right here and we'll drop it probably close to... Right there. I think that's a really good place. Make sure it's centered. Yeah, it's pretty centered. Good. So now we need to get that other bucket and that will start filtering all of the iron out. And we we do want to start hoarding iron as much as possible. We want to start selling our gold because gold isn't necessarily used for a lot of things other than jewelry crafting, which is just what NPCs ask for. But we're going to need a heap of the iron so that we can start crafting more of these automation machines. I think I'll drop that there. Good. And now if we hit this uh, switch right here, all of this that has been accruing will filter into the iron and the bads, basically the things that are not iron. Here we go. Oh, that is satisfying to watch. And all of those, and iron, great. So if we get a hook centralizer, we'll basically put it here so that everything along this path will not be in such a bad spot. Fun fact, Spider-Man 2 came out 20 years ago today. Wow, really? Oh my god, I remember uh, one of my cousins actually bought that on release day, and I was so jealous of him, because he owned a PC, and uh, I had a Game Boy. I had a Game Boy at the time. He had a computer, I had a Game Boy. 
That was that looked like a really fun game. I never got to play it though. Never got to play it. I wasn't particularly close with my cousins. So now that we got 900 bucks, we probably want to start getting ourselves. We're probably going to want a fork because that's going to drive everybody crazy eventually. Oh, hilarious! The uh, water hasn't filled up the, the bucket over here. That's strange. So we're going to start selling from this bucket, and we're going to start hoarding from this bucket. And to do that, we're probably going to need a crucible, but we can also get ourselves an automated crucible as well to kind of like immediately melt these ores down into the in, into the ores that we want them in. But we're also going to want another little conveyor belt thing, which kind of elevates all of what we're looking at here. So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building out a uh, floor of some sort. No. We've got enough money, actually. We can now buy a tier two pickaxe. So I'm going to sleep. Uh, we're going to take our immediate wealth and we're going to spend it on a gigantic pickaxe and we're going to start mining out the soil that we're all around. Let's come over here. We are going to grab ourselves. I don't know what that means, but stop hitting on me. We're going to put it in the back of our truck over here. We're going to empty out anything else that's in the back of the truck, which there is not. Wonderful. And we are going to leave. Isn't it funny, by the way, that you get into the back of the truck, you get in the truck, and it, it kind of adds anything you are holding onto the truck's bay. I love that so much. A nice little quality of life feature. Okay, uh, I'm going to take the high ground this time so that we can get ourselves... A, well, that was a fart of a jump, wasn't it? Oh, no. Is the truck stuck? A little bit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, why am I like this? I always get this damn thing stuck. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I've, I've found a way around. Man, this thing's got crazy hydraulics. Look, like it was made in the 50s. Uh, there's that volcano I was talking about, by the way. That's the DLC. We're going to see that later this week, I think. We'll come all the way out here, and we're going to hit this well that was uh, on purpose. I actually wanted to hit this man right here. And he's gone. Bye-bye. I love how physics works in this world. Uh, that's why there's no fall damage, by the way. Gravity is really, really low here. This is not what I, where I want to be. This, what the hell is this? Why is there a safe? A throne? Wow. Hello there, sir. How are you today? Me too. Okay, nice chatting with you. I need uh, something specific. He needs a tomato. I'm not going to give him one. He needs a, a kilo and a half weight tomato. I'm not... That's it's so... That's too much to ask, my dude. This is the wrong store. Actually, is it? There is a grinding wheel that we can uh, shift gemstones into... Uh, gems with, but I don't think we necessarily want to get that just yet. There's also a construction hammer. Those are fantastic, actually. I'm going to get one of those. Uh, while I remember, we're going to buy one of these bad boys. Ooh. Wow, that's satisfying to look at. Yeah, just whenever you can, add a quick run of Slender in the next damage story. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll do it eventually. Like, I don't hate the game Come that much. Danger. I've just played it so much. <laughs> like, I know the map off by heart. I know that uh, if you stay to the path, you're good. And every time you see Slender Man, run in the opposite direction and then go back to the path. That's basically the that's the bread and butter of every single strategy that you'll find for that game. Of course, you can speed run it, but I'm probably not going to try speed run it. Take a look at my goods. Uh, okay. Yeah, flat, but there's something I could work with. Uh, do you have bazingas? Okay. Well, she was nice, wasn't she? <laughs> okay, we've got a centralizer hook. And also a gem polisher hook. Uh, yeah. Thanks, uh, I'm still buying something. Could you just leave me alone? I'm just browsing. We probably want one of these eventually, uh, but we also want one of these splitter conveyors. I think we can buy one of them so that we can basically split off all the gems and the gold. We want we want gold split off. Take a look at my goods. Damn, lady, you're keen. Uh, how much have we got? We've got 896. How much have we got now? We have 364. I'm not sure if we can buy anything we... Yeah, hey, uh, I don't think we can buy anything we want. For 364 bucks, but we could definitely see. Yeah, 364. So we've got a couple of merger hooks. Don't want those. Don't want centralizer hooks. Yucky, yucky. Probably don't want these splitters. You find better prices than these. Jesus, lady. Shill much? Uh, we're actually going to go home. I think we should probably invest this money in not only repair kits, but we should also probably think about uh, something else. 
Hey, lovely, you okay? You're going out. Okay. Girlfriend's just off to the uh, supermarket. That's nice. Nice for her, huh? All right, so I'm gonna come up here and what were we talking about? I, I just got derailed. I just got derailed. I can't remember. I think we were talking about the sorting system, right? That's the biggest thing on my mind at this point. We probably want to sort out the sorting system, which is a little ironic. Oh, we didn't get the pickaxe. That's right. We wanted the pickaxe, not this one sorter. Although, since we've got it, did we not take the money? Oh, poos. Ah, poos. Okay. <laughs> Looks like we're going back to town. Right, you hoo We're going to go back to town. I'm also not going to park the truck on the soil anymore, because once we do get a pickaxe, we are probably going to get rid of the soil, which means I'll just drive this into a hole. Hey, I'm you. Hello there, Goldie Sinclair. Welcome to the BFD division. We are just playing a nice, relaxing game. I usually play, like, horrors and um, more exciting games, but uh, I'm, I'm losing my voice, so we're going to play something a little bit more relaxing. I'm just really excited for the next one. I just know for what... Oh, I see. The, okay, so the next the next Amnesia custom story you've got is Slender-based, is it? Wait, did I just hit someone? Don't mind me. I'm just mooching about. I think I hit that man with my car. Oh, well, sucks to be him. We're only here for the money anyway. Uh, 364 buckery booze. We'll take that, and we'll kind of start filling out the last of the sorting system then, I suppose. Excuse me, lady. Big truck driving. Man, this thing, I, <laughs> the suspension on it's crazy. Also, I don't know if anyone's noticed, but I am, in fact, a shirtless man in his underwear. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's my character. That's POV. You are uh, looking at a shirtless man driving a truck in his underwear. <laughs> uh, hope your channel goes big and call me Juju. Okay, Juju. Okay, Juju. Uh, I'm trying to make my channel go big, and it's actually going pretty well at the moment. It usually takes, like, a good few years for somebody to get their first thousand subscribers, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty close. I'm pretty close. Pretty exciting. Uh, I'm going to park on the soil. I'm going to do it. I don't care. In fact, I'm actually going to uh, go one step further. I'm going to reverse this thing to where we actually need to access it from. There we go. Good. And now we want this here coins. Same here. Luz? What's Luz? Who's Luz? Did you mean Liz? Uh, no, I'm I'm Jensen. There's no Liz here. I got the goods if you got the cash. There was Liz, but uh, Liz is being. And we'll come. What? That sounded so much better in my head. Why did I even say that? We we just need a straight, right? We just need a straight, a single straight pipe. Buy it, and now we want to plug this bad boy in so that we can plug in the other splitter. Indeed, news cadet, depending on which account you look at. I have no idea what that means. Oh, we should have invested that money in a repair kit. Ah, we'll do that in just a, uh, a tickle of a jimmy. I'm pretty sure we've got enough money. I'm pretty sure we've got more than enough money to do so. Let's come all the way over here, and we will start dumping cash into repair tools. I think we, yeah, we definitely have enough to afford the big budget pack right here, the big tool bag. Awesome. Get this air drill down low for the good stuff. All right, thanks for the unsolicited advice. I will uh, keep that in mind. And we're off. What a dick. What an actual dick. He just mansplained how to mind to me. Does he not know that I have uh, essentially ravaged this world several times in, in private? Okay, two things right there. How much does it weigh? It weighs nothing. That's strange. It's out of place. Can we just drop this on top of the machine? I wonder. Huh? 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 Oh, we can actually. All right, let's just leave it there for safekeeping. Hopefully it's not going to block off the soil that gets dumped in there, right? Let's see. It does, but it, it's not a bad thing. Okay, good. Uh, so, we've got a lot of iron here, which is pretty nice, actually. The... Alright, let's turn off this here uh, belt. Let's turn off the sorting system real quick. And we will... Move this. We'll move this one. We'll move this basically here. And we'll extend this pipe out by one. Good. We have one more conveyor right here. We're going to stick it in the right orientation. Good. And now we want gold. Really a nice big chunk of gold, right? It's like that one right there. I think this weighs a bit. 86. 86. Uh, 860 milligrams is pretty good, actually. Let's go ahead and get another bucket. We need another bucket. And we also need another one of those blocks, don't we? Which is a, a little bit frustrating because we're going to have to make two trips. But, you know, when in, when in Rome. 
When in Rome, why not let the city fall? How much money have we got? Nothing in here. Should have enough for a block and a bucket with 122 bucks. We've got more than enough, actually. Let's drop this in here. Great. And... No, we don't want a straight. We don't want any of these, actually. We want ourselves a bucket and a block. There we go. And we will uh, take this block over first because we need the block to put the bucket on. And then we'll go back and grab the bucket. I think that's going to be the uh, best way of moving forwards. Now, after this, we're going to need one more of these uh, splitters to kind of split off these uh, energy crystals. These ones right here, they glow, and uh, they're really annoying because you can't do anything with them other than kind of buff what you've already got. And we're just going to split off iron and gold uh, basically into a crafting bucket and a uh, let's sell this gold bucket. I think that's going to be the way. Grab this bucket. And we're off. Excuse me, sir. And we are pretty much golden now at this point. We're going to drop this right over beside our sorting system, right here. Uh, maybe pretty close to the belt itself, right there, perhaps. Yeah, that's pretty good. And we'll take this, and believe it or not, we're actually going to empty this bucket right here. There we go. So now we can split all of the resources off into their own predestined path. Right there. All right, let's watch this in action. Boop. Great. And... Iron is splitting off. Wonderful. Iron is definitely splitting off. Gold is splitting off. Nice. That's what I like to see. Good. Uh, next thing we need to do is actually get a gem polisher so we can split off the cut gems into their own bucket. There's a few of them, which is a little bit annoying, so we're going to need a bunch of uh, splitters to do that. So I think we'll just keep them in this end bucket for now. Ah, perfect. We'll mash these items where they belong right there. Probably also want to do these uh, machines too. Would you like to play The Maze? It's a horror game on Roblox. Uh, sure. Uh, stick it on the uh, the Discord. Stick it on my Discord. There's a Discord link in any of my recent videos. You can see uh, it links to my Discord. I've got a game re uh, requests area there. If you want to see me play a game, stick it on there, and I'll get around to it eventually. It's a big list, though. There are, I will be opening up streams in the uh, near future after I'm kind of finished with the Toby Fox games to play Roblox games with viewers, because uh, there are a few Roblox games I really do like as well. Namely the Mimic. I probably need to finish that one. I probably need to finish the Mimic. Although it is very spooky and it's quite hard. I think the first episode took me about four hours to record. And that was just the first chapter of it. Ended up being a 40 minute video too. So now that we've got this, what do we want to do next? Probably should start with getting a couple of corks to plug this damn thing. Or maybe we could start getting a forge, right? Maybe we could start getting a, a forge with some crucibles. Might be the next best thing. In fact, I am actually going to shut this off. And we are going to take this golden salad. Because I know there's going to be quite a bit of money in here. And we want to start keeping our iron. We want to start crafting stuff. Okay, it's really good. You go into a cave with monsters. That sounds terrifying. That sounds absolutely terrifying. Uh, <laughs> the mimic's kind of similar to that. Except instead of um, a cave, it's... Well, there is a cave in that, actually. There's a lot of them. There are a lot of really, really good Roblox games I'm going to play. Uh, sure. You just have to work for it, buddy. And I don't see you owning any land. Ow, I just hit my head on the roof. That was probably the worst thing I could have done after flexing my gold on, on an NPC. He just watches me hit my head. That sucks. That sucks a bunch. Oh, well. Okay, uh, so now that we've got all this gold, we can start doing something else, can't we? We probably should invest it in a pickaxe. Start clearing out all of this muck. Uh, maybe we'll put this over here where the gold is. Right there. Good. And we'll turn this machine back on. Boop. Good. Let's start clearing out this area. With this money. Which we're going to have to take to the city, which is elsewhere. Boop. Okay. Shirtless naked man is now in his cockpit. And we're going to come along back to the city. We're going to get ourselves a pickaxe and we're going to start clearing out all of that dirt. Because quite frankly, it's just annoying to have there. We can start putting all of our machines down at the bottom of the hole, and that'll start getting us... Whoop, that was weird. Just a breakdance on the nose of this car. We'll start getting ourselves some uh, better tier ore. We'll even start getting, I think, some core stone, which is kind of like the next ore you need to kind of start mining up the next area. Whoop. So sorry. <laughs> oh, bye. <laughs> bye. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> Just dumped him into the scrapyard. 
You only have a flashlight and camera, and if you bring friends, you'll probably split up because there are multiple holes. Well, you know what they say, every hole's a gold, so. If I can bring friends, definitely we're going to split up. Do some screams on Discord. Sounds good, actually. I've got a bunch of friends, actually, that want to play games with me now, so maybe I'll get them on the Roblox, get them to play with their friends, too. One of them's a huge YouTuber. One of them's got 64K subscribers. He's been doing this for, like, 14 years. And he's, uh, unsurprisingly good at it. Which, uh, like, on one hand is um, annoying for me because I've only just recently got good at YouTube, but on the other hand, you know, you know, he's got so much... He's got so much to learn as well as me. I also have so much to learn. He's only recently switched his editing suite from Sony Vegas to uh, DaVinci Resolve, which I did like a month before he decided to as well. So we've been kind of learning DaVinci Resolve together and I've got into animation recently and uh, he's loving it. He's loving it. Everything new that you can find on YouTube is fantastic, especially when you're a content creator. It, it's just always a learning experience. I mean, like you go down one big hole and fall down. Sp oh, like a Minecraft dropper, right? Like Minecraft dropper. I've seen a few of those uh, where people kind of like get in there with their friends and they go down uh, different paths and you got to like hit all the different buttons to open the exit for the other guy who's falling down the hole. <laughs> Man, those are rough, actually. Those are super rough because you got to, while you're falling, you got to hit the button, which is damn near impossible and especially even more so to do with friends. All right, so we're here for a pickaxe, aren't we? What the hell am I doing in this area? Tools and equipment. Sounds promising. I think I dropped my points in the wrong place. Yep, I definitely did. Over here, we'll grab ourselves a pickaxe, and we'll go back down and do it. Boop. And now we need a pickaxe. Where the hell is it? There it is, tier 2 pickaxe. 742, can we afford this? No! Oh, we are so close as well, that's frustrating. Oh, we had more money as well in the other store. Oh, we're going to go back and get it. What would you call the single worst game you've ever played? Oh, I've played some, I've played some bad ones. I've played some bad ones. Like, not bad as in like they're super scary, but real bad games. I've played some rotten games. Probably the worst like AAA game I've played was Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Mainly because of all the lies. Like yeah, people were, people were buying it, expecting it to have a Black Ops, Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 3 kind of campaign. And the campaign just ended up being 10 tutorial missions on some of the kind of like hero classes that you play in multiplayer. And then exclusively multiplayer. That's it. That, honestly, that's probably the worst game I've played recently in the last few years. Black Ops 4. Black Ops 6 looks really good. That one's going to have a campaign with uh, Willem Dafoe. And I love John Wick, so... When I played it, there was a monster that kept on chasing me, and then I saw a ghost. It killed my friend, though, and I was accused of being the monster. Oh, that's rough. Oh, so you can have, like, players be the monster as well. That's cool, actually. I, I like those ones. I like those games. Hard to find anybody who actually mains monsters, though. I tried Dead by Daylight once, and I just found it super toxic. Like, every single person that I met on there was just, like, a person I'd rather not have met. Streamers are nice. The Dead by Daylight streamers are nice, and I've got a couple of friends that play it, but the people I've met online, not, not great. Not great. Now, what would you call the best game I've ever played? Like, again, I can only give you recently, because I've played so many good games. Recently, probably would have had to have been... Bad Company 2. That game has aged like a fine wine. It is so good. No, but I... Oh, right, right. So the monsters are AI-driven. That's okay. A little less hectic. I would probably prefer a little less hectic if I was going to be playing a game with, like, a bunch of different people. Because whenever, like, there's a game that just always gives you the threat of death at all times, it's so hard to play with, with friends. Like, Payday 2. There's always the, the threat of, like, cocking up a heist and going into loud mode, which, if you're at the harder difficulties, you just either build for stealth or or loud mode. And you, you play with friends, and they don't know what the hell they're doing. They cock up, like, a 20-minute stealth run. You go into hard mode, and neither of you have uh, anywhere near the equipment to deal with it. That's frustrating. That's a little bit frustrating. So there's always the threat of, like, failing a single mission on Payday 2, and that's really the hairiness of it, but... Other games where there's like death, permadeath immediately, like Project Zomboid with friends on hardcore mode, that's hard as hell. That, that There's no way that people can do that. I started playing that with friends and uh, I think multiplayer Zomboid is made almost exclusively for people who have already dumped like a thousand hours into the game. Just because it's so difficult uh, at, a, at a base level. Like by far, but at the same time, like it's it's a fun experience to just play with friends alone. Not like alone as in without the friends, but just fun to play with them.
You've got to know this, the fast monster will either make a stomp sound if you click a sound. Ah, okay. I'm really, really good at finding how monsters work. Um, I'm a game breaker. Like, yeah, <laughs> this game does not reflect how I play games much at all, unless I do literally this little wiggle that you see right here. I am a, an, an expert at breaking games. <laughs> what timing, huh? I'm going to wiggle my way into the store, see what happens. <laughs> okay, we've kind of broken it a little bit. That's okay. We're, we're doing some... <laughs> well, this is a situation I never thought I'd find myself in. <laughs> okay. And there we go. All right, <laughs> back to the game. But yeah, like, uh, game breaking is what I do. And uh, finding, like, monsters' weaknesses is par for the course with game breaking. It's so fun. It's so fun to do. Especially if you can get uh, monsters, like, stuck on geometry and have them, like, uh, fall through the map. That is so fun to do. It's pretty common as well. I got the goods if you got the cash. Yeah, no, I'm leaving. Um, we're going to go and we're going to buy literally anything else. Boop. Nice. Look how... Big it grew. And we got to spend it immediately on this pickaxe. Here we go. Easy come, easy go. You won't hear the ghost, though, but it will stop moving if you shine light on it. Oh, that's a cool mechanic. I do like that. I really like mechanics that are kind of like a little bit obscure and kind of break up the monotony of just listening for the positioning of a monster. Because that was basically what I found in the mimic, is that all of the monsters you, you listen for, and once you know exactly what to listen for, the whole map is just easy as hell. Super easy. It's like those old 2008 style horror games. It's taken straight out of Mario games with the booze. Cool. That is that is cool. Although it's also kind of a, a, a Doom thing as well. It was in the original Doom game that you had to listen for some monsters. Uh, we could actually start just mining out this entire uh, place, I think. I think we're, we're done. I think we're done uh, setting up the automation for now. Oop. Drop all of the gems on there. And we will get rid of, of this bucket right here. Done. Let's start breaking up dirt. Let's start breaking it apart. Here we go. Now, it, it takes a wee while, as you can probably see, but it's dev the juice is worth the squeeze, especially if the machine behind you is, like, already generating some form of passive income. So once we dig all of this crap out, we're going to be in a very, very, very good place. Also, a copy of... Oh, yeah, content warning. Um, I, That's free. No, it wasn't. It was free on the first day. I did a series of that on my channel, but unfortunately, uh, no one was interested in watching it, so got cancelled pretty quickly. Don't have to play. Probably won't be playing that. I've got the base game. Uh, there are a few games that I, I do want to play on Roblox, like Doors. Doors looks really fun. Doors kind of looks like a, a, a Game Breaker's wet dream, doesn't it? It looks like the kind of game where you, you just kind of... You figure out what a monster is, and then you try and deal with it as fast as possible as you play it. So I can't wait to play that one, uh, especially with viewers. Because it, it would also be really, really cool to see how everyone else deals with monsters too. Especially if it doesn't work and it leads to them screaming and dying. Yeah, it's good. It is good, isn't it? It's really fun. Not fun to watch. I, it got to be said, uh, Mark Play did a series on it. I don't think it did particularly well on his channel either. So I think it's more just the game itself. People would rather... Uh, do it, then view it, as I like to say. Good game, though. Good game. Good game. Especially when you get the party poppers. Love the party poppers. Uh, I kind of want to go back to Lethal Company as well. Lethal Company has had a thousand massive updates since I last played it. And the last time I played it, I was kind of waiting on uh, the friend, the big YouTuber, that I had to send me his footage of playing it so I could kind of like do... A double perspective, because it was a really good episode that I just didn't end up publishing. And it's just been uh, kind of sitting in my Steam library stagnating since then, because it's been so busy. Should have played it when the last event happened. Content warning. Well, it did... What, what was the event? Was there, like, a um, free party poppers? I know that you can, like, find all of the items that you buy in the store now across the maps, which is really cool. That's going to open up a lot of utility for the game, but at the same time... It's pretty limited, functionally. Well, don't, don't, don't tease us. Tell us what the event was. Oh, for doors. Oh, I didn't realize they did events. That's cool, actually. I'd really like that. Because as far as I know, they're kind of like an indie game, right? Yeah. Man, what a cool looking game. I was addicted to it ever I never played it. I was addicted to it every time, ever since I saw Matt play it, Matt Pat play it on GT Live. 
Man, that looks so fun. He spent so much money on it. <laughs> Those developers must love him. Oh, good old MatPat, hey? He hasn't retired, by the way. I don't know if anybody's noticed, but he hasn't he hasn't actually retired. He's still around. He's still making content. He's just doing it with uh, the the Game Theory uh, crew on GT Live. I can't remember the event's name. Ah, oh, that's a shame. That's a, that's a real shame. Do you remember what was in it? And don't say doors, because... I think that's a given. I, th I think I think that's basically assumed of the game. Doors. That there are doors in it. It kind of reminded me of uh, Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. That was a cool one as well. That's on the list. That's on the list to play. I'll probably be getting that one uh, to that one pretty soon as well. It contains hallways. Does it? No shot. I thought it was literally just doors. Like, you open up a door and there's just another door on the other side. Like, no room, no nothing, just just doors. You open, you open the door and there's, there's just more doors. Like, uh, like Isengard, right? Like, uh, like more doors? Made by Sauron? Kind of stuff? I've been watching The Rings of Power recently. That is such a good TV series. I am so glad it got made. And people hate it for some reason. I don't know why. Because it's actually, it's more faithful-ish to uh, the original books than the films were, hilariously. I don't know why the film insisted that the ring just be a very, very plain Jane gold ring with a little bit of elvish on it. Because they were not. They were supposed to be, like, vajazzled rings. Very cool. And the, the interpretation of Sauron, too. Very, very awesome. Love it. Love that series so much. Can't wait for the second season. Hope it, I hope it gets made. The first one was very expensive. Like $800 million kind of expensive. Which is... I think three times more than the original Peter Jackson trilogy. It's crazy. I know that inflation is supposed to play a bit of a part in that. But you, it, it didn't triple over the last 20 years. Inflation hasn't tripled. It's like it's increased by like 20%. Inflation. It's not tripled. Good on Bezos. I'm glad he's using uh, his, his money wisely instead of just spending it on a bunch of crap that only influences him. I'll, I'll be okay for him to be a billionaire if, uh, if he's making TV shows for everybody else with such a budget. Okay, so we're, we've made a pretty big dent in this hole so far, but it's still nowhere near the bottom. I do kind of like mining out all of the edging as well. I don't necessarily think that we need to edge it, but I am going to edge it. I'm going to edge it like a gooner. Edge it like a gooner. I think we've hit the bottom just down here, though. So we might just want to come down here and start thinking about maybe just going under the surface layer. Maybe make ourselves a little room on the inside. Because we don't necessarily need to be able to walk on top of this. We're just going to buy a bunch of um, stone blocks and uh, that'll basically make up the floor and foundation for this productive enterprise. Because we're going to need a lot of those automated machines. We're going to need a lot of them. We're also stuck down here and we can't get out. So, uh, check this out. Boop. We got out of the hole. Let's see it. Let's see the hole. Yep, it's pretty deep, actually. <laughs> pretty good hole. All right. So, let's repair this bad boy. It's not doing anything. And we'll drop this back on the ground. Great. Awesome. And now we persevere onwards into the hole. Diggy, diggy hole. I wonder why it's not canon in this game that you're a dwarf. Kind of makes sense, right? Kind of, kind of makes sense for us to have been dwarves. That should be a cannon. It's my head cannon that we're dwarves. We're probably going to go to the DLC area and find like a billion people way taller than us. And we're going to get really, really insecure, just like the dwarves do. No, I'm not short. Look at my beard. Kind of insecurities. Man, it's dark as hell in here, right? Should we buy a mining helmet? Well, maybe we should actually... Here, check this out. I'll go get that lamp. I'll go get that lamp that we left up here. Drop the pickaxe. There. Grab this. We'll drop it down the hole. And there we go. Free torch. <laughs> uh, indoors there is a guy named Seek and he'll chase you two times. Won't tell you which door though. Oh, that's dark. That's that's rough actually. That's <laughs> super rough. That's okay. I'm, I'm sure that I'll play it enough to figure it out. It looks like one of those games I'd play for hours on end. And I got Roblox. I actually, uh, believe it or not, I got Roblox on my phone. You can play it on your phone. 
And I spent 40 bucks getting a controller that works for my phone. You basically just uh, connect it through Bluetooth and it wraps around the phone itself. And you can kind of like assign the buttons to tap on specific parts of the screen. I've been playing Roblox with that. That's so good. It's so good. I don't know why everyone doesn't have one of those. Just a phone controller. I think they were kind of designed for like Call of Duty Mobile Warzone, maybe. All those other like mobile first person shooter games that everyone else plays, but you know, you can play anything on them. Stardew Valley as well. You can play Stardew Valley on your phone. Very cool. Assuming you've got like a like an S9 or later, something like that. Because if you've got one of those earlier or kind of like pixely bricky phones, probably won't work. Probably won't work at all. Okay, so we're getting into kind of like hellish mouth territory here, which is a little bit unfortunate, I think. Probably want to maybe consider not being down here. But we don't necessarily have a choice, do we? We could probably actually just put this on hold for a while until we get to uh, kind of handing in quests, because there is a tier three pickaxe that we could probably clear this area out faster with. Or once we get enough money, we could start just putting dynamite and explosives everywhere. Maybe that'd be a good idea. Maybe dynamite and explosives is how we excavate this. Because there's a lot of these areas that we uh, do kind of have to dig through. Although I am now amazingly well committed to blowing this out with hand. Which I don't think I really should have committed to doing initially. But you know, it is what it is. One more. Screech will try and get you in the dark. Turn the camera around until you see him. You will know he is there when you hear a screech. Oh! Ah! Okay. Sounds pretty good, actually. Uh, like, it, I'm not surprised that he's named Screech if his mechanic is Screech. I'm actually starting to see a pattern here. Is everything named after their own base mechanic? Because it, it does seem that way. It seems that way from my immediate perspective. God, it looks so fun. I can't wait to play it. I literally can't wait. Okay. So, what do we think, actually? Do we want to uh, charge all of this out by hand? Or do we want to kind of, like, get explosives and stuff? Or do we actually just want to wait until we get the, um, the highest tier pickaxe? Because we're now currently in a, a dark, dingy hole. Not really doing anything. Here's a spider. Spiders don't screech. Maybe that's why he's a monster, huh? Maybe. Maybe that's why he's a monster. I don't know how long this is going to take. I don't know how long we've been uh, doing this so far. How long have we been doing this so far? Probably not too long, huh? Strangely, when you actually start hunkering down in this game, you start finding that all of the tasks don't necessarily actually take a long time, but it's all kind of reliant on your own work ethic. In the game, necessarily. Probably not your own, like, base IRL work ethic, but definitely how you play the game is how fast the game will progress. Okay, good. Like, we could just sit there and watch the automation machine spew out free resources, but at the same time, we don't need to. We don't need to do that. It's not something we need to do necessarily. What we need to do is just do all of these kind of like rubbishy wee jobs on the side, I think, is going to be the thing. Uh, also, excavating the entire area, you'll find things called artifacts, which you can leave in the temples scattered either around the place or just exclusively right beside where we are. I'll show you basically what they look like when we next go and either buy repair equipment or when we need to go to the store. Because it's, it's just a hole in the mountain next to there. Mm -hmm. uh, let's drop this bad boy and we'll get this here. We'll move it closer in mm -hmm. here. What do you mean, mm -hmm. ha? What mm -hmm. do you mean, ha? Mm -hmm. Drop it! Drop mm -hmm. the damn thing! Dick. Dickhead. Okay, uh, let's start busting these down again now that we can actually see what we're doing. Uh, I think we've kind of like excavated to the other side of the map. Yeah, we have. <laughs> ah, well, that didn't actually take that long. At all. Well, we've actually done a lot. We've excavated heaps. Timothy is a spider that tries to get you from the drawer. Screech is a monster that tries to get you in the dark. From a drawer? The things you open for loot. That's rough. That's rough. That's, a, that's like a, that's a jump scare you get for just playing the game for fun. Like, no monsters, just fun, right? Or does he kill you? I remember MatPat was talking about him at some point. 
Uh, no, I've got the privilege of not really paying attention necessarily to the games that MadPat played on GC Live. I just kind of listen to them in the background like people listen to podcasts. Okay. So we are actually pretty close to the end here. If I just bust up here, we're probably going to find the end. We just skirt all the way down here, cut out everything in the middle. Yeah, this is it. We found, we've actually found our way to the other end of the hole. That's impressive. I like that. So we probably want to excavate a gigantic portion of this. We're also, here's the thing. We're going to need a lot of conveyor belts uh, to get down here. That is a major issue because we are limited at the moment by money. Money is our biggest choke at this point. Not necessarily resources because we are gathering enough iron to kind of craft another bunch of the excavated machines that we already have set up. And once we have a bunch of those in sequence, money is just going to come like, um, like crazy. Uh, I think maybe we gap it for a little bit. You get stuff from the drawing, you get coins. Oh, you can spend it at Jeff's shop. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, let's unstuck again, because we are stuck in the hole. And we'll do a quick sleep right here. Oh my god! Was that a sleep paralysis demon? I've never seen that before. I've never seen that before. That was so creepy. Creepy. This is a big hole. We've actually just made a giant hazard. Okay. How are we looking over here? How many resources have we got? Oh, we've, one's fallen out, unfortunately. But it's ultimately pretty full. Uh, gold is pretty satisfying. We've got a lot of stuff in here. We've got an uncut emerald. Uh, let's drop it in the bucket right here, I suppose. Got a uncut ruby. We've got a uncut sapphire. We've got a uncut sapphire. What is this? Uncut ruby. What is this? Emerald. We've got a ruby. Man, look at all of our resources. This is crazy, actually. We've got a bunch of stuff. I'm just going to pick up all the round things and stick them in this bucket. Uncut emerald again. Wow. Emerald. And an emerald. And an emerald. And an emerald, and an emerald, and we've also got a sapphire, and what's this? That is an emerald, and we've got a sapphire, and we've got a sapphire, and we've also got an emerald. Wow, and an emerald. Look at all of this. We might actually be able to afford the uh, the rest of the sorting system now. An onyx. That is a very rare one. And we've also got the sapphire right here. I don't think there's any more, right? They would be on the surface layer. No, it's just a shard. Not interested in those. Excellent. So we've actually got heaps of stuff here. I'm going to turn off the sorting machine and we are going to get money. Whoa, okay. Uh, that was weird. That was just flat out strange. Uh, there's some gold here. Let's put this in the, uh, put this right there. And now we're going to go and sell this bucket of gold. And we're going to get ourselves a forge and a crucible. And the reason we want this is because we want to start making ingots. Ingots are really, really handy. For some guild tokens. Oh, you know what? Sure. I'll take that. 1.5, you say? What's this? Yes? Ugh, this ain't what I wanted. Okay. How about this? <laughs> Nay, that's not right. I You're a dick. Specific. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, we're going to go back to the scales and we're going to get this guy's tokens. <laughs> We're not going to sell the gold just yet. We are literally engaging in uh, an instance of opportunity. All right. Let's find one that weighs 1.5. What is this? 0.3? Yuck. Uh, not really interested. Let's just put the ones we don't want at the back of the bucket. And this one is 0.3. Yuck. And this one is 0.86. Yuck. And this one is 0.65. Yuck. This one is 0.19, despite the fact that it is bigger than most of them. This one is 0.3. Okay, and this one, 0.1. This is not good. 0.56. We haven't even found one that weighs any more than one yet. Oh god, this is bad. Uh, bad haul. Crap haul. Whoa, what's this? 1.44! Oh, that is so close. Would you like to bring me on Roblox when you do your stream? Uh, sure. The uh, name's the same. It's Jensen. 
I don't know if there's like a friend limit on Roblox or something like that, which means I may have to clear you out from some of my actual uh, kind of like IRL friends and the streamers that I that I stream with, but I'll definitely add you in until that day comes. Same username, just Jensen. Okay, 91. Boom! And we'll drop this as well. 0.3. Good. And this one here. 0.3. Good. And this is 0.81. Damn, we had one that was so goddamn close. I don't know if we're going to find another one that close. No. This one is 0.3. You haven't figured out how to use the scale uh, by now. The number that we're looking at is the bottom one. And we want a 1.5. Minimum. 0.3. Yuck. Now, we can't actually, like, artificially create ore, which is a little bit of a shame. 0.31. No. We, uh, we just want... We only want the ability to hand in this quest. 0.92, yucky yucky. Is Juju as back baby three if you want to? Okay, I'll, uh, if I remember after the stream, I'll check it out. Oh, you know what, actually, that uh, reminds me. I haven't taken the uh, medication that I am medicated to take for my memory because I have uh, consistent brain damage. For the day. Crazy, huh? Crazy how uh, somebody with memory issues forgets to uh, take memory medication. Honestly, no, uh, now that I say it out loud, it doesn't surprise me. How are we, by the way? Do we like this game? Is this a good game? I feel like it's not as exciting as the ones that we usually play, but it's, it's satisfying in a way that can't really be described by normal people. I definitely feel. Oh, I've got a couple of emeralds in the, uh, in the pile right there. It's pretty good. It's got some gold flying out as well. Wonderful. Some iron, great. Okay, come here, memory meds. I'm not joking, by the way. I'm actually medicated for my memory. My sister's acting greedy. She said that she wants to take your Robux. I, I don't think I've spent a single cent on Robux on Roblox. You're welcome to try. <laughs> a greedy sister. Oops. Uh, let's actually put that closer to where we need it. Do this one, right? Uh, 0.3. No, thank you. What's this one? 0.19. No, thank you. What's this one? Oh, 1.04. Pretty close, but no. 0.83. No. Uh, 1.44. We're actually scanning the same ones that we just scanned. Uh, we probably aren't going to find one in this lot, to be quite honest. We probably need to get one from right at the bottom of that, that mound right there. So let's just go and hand this in, and we'll keep this guy's quest in front of him, just in case he wants it. Like hey. To make me so much. I was about to uh, click on him to give him the whole bucket, but I realized that they would just dump every single one of these pieces of ore right at your feet. Okay, so... Don't mind me. I'm just mooching about. Thousand buckery booze. That is fantastic. That is actually a lot of money for just the gold. Like, an insane amount of money. Uh, not sure what we're going to spend it on. We probably should get ourselves a gem polisher and a centralizer because we can sell cut gems. We can't sell uncut gems. You're thinking you could get this for me? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, my dude. What a guy. Buy your own mine. Okay. Let's come in here. We'll drop this on the ground. N yeah, I, so I don't know what we're going to spend this on necessarily. We need our gold bucket, which we were just holding our cash in right here. Drop that bad boy right there. Good. And we'll turn the sorting system back on. Boop. And these are probably going to break soon, so we probably want to maybe get ourselves some more repair tools. She said sorry. No, it's absolutely fine. It's <laughs> I think Robux is a bit of a meme, isn't it? Robux is a meme. I'm, ha I'm happy for the memes. Not like an Elon Musk meme, but an actual funny meme. That's fine. YouTuber currency is Robux. So, right here, scales. We are good with this. Probably actually want to lock that in place. Could probably do with enhancing our sorting system, right? Probably want to enhance the sorting system. Or we probably also want to... Oh, we got, we want to get the forge in the crucible, don't we? So we'll do that right the second. Because once we get that, we can start working towards uh, the possibility of getting ourselves the next machines. We can start automating the machines a bit better. Boop. Good. There they are. So we want one of these bad... We probably want two of these bad boys, actually. Probably don't necessarily want the buckets anymore to drop the ore in. We probably just want two of these and one of these furnaces right here. Good. 122 bucks. That is a steal. 
We can actually get automated furnaces, but I don't really think it's necessary, so we it won't necessarily worry about that too much. She said she wanted to give you a Roblox account. Okay, wonderful. Uh, I'll, like, if I remember, if I remember, you guys should send me the friend request because it's it's a hot minute since I've actually been on Roblox uh, looking at the DMs and such. I basically just, I go on there when I am uh, kind of like winding down for bed and I just fiddle around with the game for 10 or 15 minutes and then sleep. It's my routine. I know boomers read books. I don't. I play, I play games on my phone. It's a toilet, isn't it? Mobile gaming is an absolute toilet to deal with. Like, there are some good ones. I found some good ones, but... Ultimately, they are not things like AFK Journey or, uh... Uh, what else is there? You can play RuneScape on your phone. That's pretty cool. Roblox on the phone is a pretty obvious one. Stardew Valley is on the phone. That's pretty awesome as well. Um... Pyrosoft Games. I don't think they've made a single bad game. They've made, like, 30 games. I don't think any of them have been bad. Uh, let's go ahead and shut this off real quick so that we can set up the crucibles instead of these buckets right here. Right here, we'll get this crucible. Uh, I think they have a higher lip. So we can probably just stick it there and be done with it, right? And we'll get the other one as well. So they should just let the ore to, to drop straight in like that. So if we put this on, that should drop straight in. It does drop straight in. That is fantastic. Uh, let's put all of this gold into this crucible right here. Boop. Great. And we'll take all of this iron, and we'll stick all of this iron in this crucible right here. And I'm going to do it from uh, way up top here, just for the satisfying drop. Boom. Okay, a little bit of frame drop, but <laughs> that's why we got them. Uh, now, believe it or not, we actually want... Maybe you should write it down then, or have a sticky note. This stream is recorded. The stream's recorded. We can, um... We, I'll just look at the stream. I'll look at the stream. Okay, we'll come along here. Uh, but when I do stream it, it will be basically first in, first serve. Because I know there's going to be a limited amount of people who come in. And Roblox uh, tends to be a very popular one. For some reason. Oh, it broke. Both machines broke. Okay, that's good timing because we are actually hearing it in the machine and not distracted. Let's repair both of these with both of our repair tools. Uh, now, I'm going to turn this off, believe it or not. And I'm going to take this crucible and I'm going to stick it on this board right here. And then I'm going to take it back off because I... No! Oh, that was so close. I think we almost just dropped all... Oh, it's not coming out of the bottom. That's weird. Never seen that before. we got to put this down. we got to put this down like here, I guess. And now let's uh, put this crucible on top of that. It's going to heat up. Oh, we need a cast as well. Do we have one? No, we don't. We're going to go get a cast. Also, that game is like Rust, but with less players. What? Uh, Roblox or Hydroneer? Because I doubt you're talking about hydrogen now, right? We just need one of these blocks right here. Put that down. And now we can start making ingots, which means we can start doing the crafting, which is actually very cool. Up all the way over here and drop this right next to the furnace, because we kind of need to be able to access this thing while this thing here is hot. Boop. And done. How much does this weigh? Because we need 300 for the next... Ah, uh, we still need heaps, actually. We still need 300 for the next, oh, what is it called? Uh, the next, the next craft. We still need 300 for a craft. So I'm actually going to stick this back into this furnace right here. And then we're going to take this and we're going to stick it all the way back where it belongs. Right here. Yeah, this one here is like rust. You can't play this in co-op. This does have co-op functionality, but I haven't played it in co-op. Not Roblox? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So all of that stuff just went in there. Don't know if it's going to condense down. I don't think it is, actually. Nice. Good, actually. Now that we've got all of this sorted, we probably actually start thinking about maybe expanding it out to sort everything into... We'll keep the iron and the gold as it is, but I think it might be best to potentially move it forward by one and also add... Kind of like a smelting crucible for all of these glowing pieces right here. These shards that are in my hand. We also probably need like four or five sorting elements up higher in the sky to polish gems. And then dump those into the boxes too. Which we can't melt down. We can only kind of like compress them with a, a logic gate. But we haven't done that just yet. Okay. Nice. We've got more gems. Very cash money. I don't know why I'm separating them into other buckets. That's not what we want. That is what we want right there. Another sapphire. Good. And another sapphire. I think that's a ruby I see. 
It is a sapphire. And what is this? That's a ruby. I thought I saw some red in there. That is a shard. A heaps of stuff in here. Got an emerald. So this bucket right here, I'm just going to dump it back on the conveyor belt when we actually get the gem polisher, which could be right now. Man and bunny, hello. Hello there, man and bunny. Which one am I talking to? Am I talking to the man or the bunny? Probably not the bunny, right? Probably not the bunny. I don't know many bunnies that can uh, speak fluid English. Hello. Hello there. So, okay, uh, a lot of this is set up pretty well. We probably also want to get a couple of these furnaces maybe to just stick these crucibles on top of. But I know that they center, the furnaces center into a building block. And we don't necessarily want these to center into a building block. We want it to uh, be closer to the output of these conveyor belts because otherwise... It'll just fall in front of it, which may be a bit of a damp fart. Maybe we'll do it anyway. Maybe we'll do it anyway. Hello, my channel. That's my channel. What, man and bunny? Where's the bunny? Is the is the bunny also is the bunny also on the channel? I have no idea. Look, I'm I'm just here yeah, basically resting my voice and uh, preparing to catch a cold. Uh, playing some pretty good engineering games. So we could here, we could probably think about expanding it out, couldn't we? But we just need the money. We need the money to be able to do so, and we can't really craft anything. Maybe. Hear me out. We, we could probably go and do some fishing. I'm going to buy another bucket. We're going to go do a little bit of fishing. Is my friend? Yeah. What, the, the bunny? I love bunnies. That is so cool. Uh, in here, we'll get another bucket just in case there's not one at the fishing dock. We'll buy it and then we'll go over there. We need a bit more money than a grand, unfortunately, to kind of expand out further. And we also need the machinery that we have to... We could probably actually set up a, a water filter system. Actually, that might be a really good idea. Because we're going to need one of those anyway. It'd be a really good shout. Oh, we do have a bucket here. Okay, we've got two buckets here now. Let's go set up a water filter system. We can do that for a grand. My friend is Bunny. Is Bunny here? Or is Bunny on the channel? Is Bunny a person? That'd be funny. Uh, I did say I was going to show everybody the altar, didn't I? So in here, we actually find ourselves... Uh, thanks, old cave-dwelling hermit. Yeah, so there's a few items that we can just stick on here. I'm not sure what we get as a reward for it, but, you know, it is here. It's in the game. We need to be quite cautious of it. She's my neighbor. Okay. Right, we'll come over here. This guy had a quest for us, I right? Something specific. A 1.5 weight iron ore. The other guy wants some 1.5 weight gold. Right. Actually, we'll leave these in front of the people that requested them, just because... I don't think there's any way of kind of figuring out who they are after we've taken those. So we'll just leave them in front of them. We'll leave the relevant person's quest in front of them. Walkie talkie. So we want our grand back. Is it in the store? Who knows? And we're going to need a bunch of crap. So we're probably also going to want a, a cart. Where is the cart? We brought the cart back, didn't we? Oh, there it is. Woo! Here we go. Uh... Now we come over here. We can actually buy a faster cart, which we may want to do in the very near future, but we'll do this now. And that should basically be the cart done and dusted for a, a pretty wee while. You may be at a horror game called Bonnie's Bakery. Escape now before you die. Drive the tractor. I will drive the tractor. I will drive the tractor, but we don't necessarily need to do so unless we're going like long distances. Okay, we'll drop that there. In fact, no, actually, I'm going to put this in the, in the actual store... Uh, shop area right here. There we go. Oh, that's perfectly parked. And we want to start dumping all of these straight... Po oh, actually, we want to take this with us now, too. Okay, I'll back it up a little bit. There we go. And we want to start dumping straight pipes into it. There we go. One. And two. And three. And the reason we're doing this is because the items don't clip onto each other when you put them in a cart, so you can buy heaps of them at once. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. So we need 10 of them for a water purification system. We're also probably going to need a couple of elbows and maybe another one of these uh, intakes. Probably going to need a T-junction. And we're probably going to want a pressure tank. Maybe two of them. But we're going to need to start putting things into the pressure tank as well. Man, you want to die? Why? Because this is heavy or... <laughs> 
Looking for something. Nope, found it all. Well, 582 buckery boots. That is insane. Wow, we just spent a lot of money. We just spent a lot of money. Like, too much money. Okay. Come over here and we'll start working on this water purification system. We still need a bunch of hooks. I'm not sure if we can buy those hooks from where we are currently situated, but I know we can buy them from the town. Which we'll drive the tractor to go to very shortly. I think they're kind of expensive though, so we're probably going to need to build up a bit of a bit of money for them. Which we are going to do anyway while we wait for the resources to collect up to about 300. So we've got all of these. I don't see any water hooks in here. No, I don't. So we're definitely going to need to go to the town. That's fine. We can do that. So leave here. <laughs> Stop fear-mongering. Stop, <laughs> Stop panicking, people. Here we go. Uh, so we're over here now. We definitely need to unhook the machine to set up the water purification system, which is why I thought we needed another intake pipe. So instead of doing that immediately, I'm actually going to maybe take the straight pipes and start lining them up over this way so that we don't need to shut down our production to get this purification system up and running. One there, uh, one there, very good. That's a few there. We probably need one more as well because we're probably going to want to put an intake hook right there as well. This uh, hook right here that turns off the machines. Actually, we're not going to want to turn off the machines, so let's just put it on there right now. Boom, oh, right there. Tractor, it's coming. The tractor's coming. The tractor's coming. We'll need to know how much the hooks cost before we uh, kind of forget about it, right? But we need to put all these pipes down first. We need 11 of them in sequence because we also want the hook on that one at the end there. So the reason I'm doing this is because water is dirty when it's pumped straight out of the ground and dirty water damages the actual machines. So what you can actually do is delegate the damage towards water uh, filters instead and the water filters will take all of the damage. How many have we put down? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need one more. Yeah, we need one more. Which is absolutely fine. And then we'll start hooking in the machines from above rather than below. So we're going to go. We're going to go over to the town and we're going to see whether or not we can buy a single one of these hooks. And the benefit of these hooks is that they break and they close off the entire production line. They also don't allow any of the machines to take damage. So if you get five of these hooks, each hook reduces the kind of water grottiness by 20%. If you get five of the hooks, it reduces it 100%. If you get 10 of them, then consecutively, you can also uh, kind of like delegate the damage to the next five instead of just the first five. So it extends the life of the machines as long as you've got like more than 10, it definitely works out. And we are definitely planning to have more than 10. So now that we're in here, what do we need? Hooks, right? Water hooks. Take this money, see if we can actually afford some. I think we left some here, some money. Check out the mark goods. Yep, we did. Boom, we've got 335 buckery booze and we need... Probably need to get this water pressure gauge hook eventually as well. We need 174 per, so we need 10 of these. We need 1,200 bucks. I'm just going to get one for now. Whoop. There we go, because we can't afford any more. Instant, you better. should play Bonnie's Bakery in the pre prequel of it. Go into any of my recent videos. There's a link to my Discord down at the bottom. I've got a game request section right at the bottom of that, uh, of that Discord. Uh, that's where all of the game requests go. So if you want to request a game, go into that into that channel, post your game request, and I will add it to the enormous list at this point. I have been getting through the games at a pretty good rate, faster than people are recommending them to me on streams, but I have been uploading them at like five hour video lengths, code. so you know. If you do request a game, it may come up in like a five hour video. It might not be nicely edited like a lot of my series are, but I do get through the games. I do get through the games. Okay, we'll get this hook right here and we'll stick it on these pipes. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's go under them. Good. And we'll put this one right here. Yeah, I think that's good. Actually, I don't really like how it's oriented. So I'm going to put it there. I don't know if I changed anything. Oh, well. So what we want to do is kind of have one extra straight pipe. And then we want to stick a pressure gauge right at the end of that to bolster up the pressure, essentially, of the, of the, uh, Looking for of the, uh, what's my doodles? Any money in here? No, bugger. <laughs> okay, 
We should probably sell all of our gold, because we're probably getting to the point where we just need money. Unless we brought all of our money back with us, which I doubt, because we had, like, next to nothing left. We had none. We had none. All right, let's uh, turn this off. Whoop. And now we are going to take this. We are going to burn all of this gold into a nice, fine liquid. Or not. Or not. Hello? Uh. Well, this is embarrassing. Well, wow, don't tell me you need me to put them in there individually. Uh. Oh, I do. Oh, no. Can I just pour it out into this bucket then? No, I can't. Oh, that's so embarrassing. Okay, I'll put that there. Oh, no. What the hell? What is the mechanic of these things? Whoops. It, uh... It just... Oh, okay. Okay, fine. Fine. I don't care. I don't care. We've got our bar. We've got our bar. We'll see how much it's worth. It is worth... It's 55 kilos, and it's about a grand, which is pretty good, actually. I can't, though. I'm 10, but man can probably do it. What? Play Bonnie's Bakery? I've never heard of it. Is it a Roblox thing? Is it a uh, is it a game itself? It sounds like a, a Five Nights at Freddy's spinoff. It's got to be a Five Nights at Freddy's spinoff, right? That's a game I haven't played yet either. The Five Nights at Freddy's franchise. Okay, we got a grand, which is actually pretty generous. And we are going to spend it, essentially, on goodies. We're going to go and get ourselves one more straight pipe. And one more of I'm these. Uh, I haven't bought anything yet, buddy. Uh, no, we actually have a pressure cooker, so we don't need another one of those. Yet. We're going to stick it at the end of this chain right here. I know it's going to look kind of ugly initially, but it'll grow on everybody. Okay, we need that there, and now we need an el uh, well, one of these things, actually. Turn that bad boy around. Or not. Like this, maybe? Yeah, that's a pretty good angle. Now we need an elbow junction, which is this one right here. Very nice. And we want to shove that bad boy there. And now we kind of, unfortunately, need a, a bunch of these T-junctions to kind of, like, backtrack a little. Oh, this is going to suck. <laughs> so, essentially, each one of these pipes is going to have a water filter on it, which is going to reduce the durability loss of these machines here. When this one breaks, I'm going to fully repair it, and we'll swap over the water intake pipe to be over here, and then we'll swap the uh, pipes to have an intake from above rather than kind of below here so we'll stick them all in a line above other than this and we want to stick it in line of the intake here simply because it's uh, very convenient to do so now i think we need a heap of straight pipes again because we don't necessarily want a bunch of these t-junctions lined across here because we'll be bleeding pressure like crazy so we're not going to do that what is this another elbow pipe Okay. Oh, we need. We actually do need an elbow pipe for the end of this junction right here. So let's kind of put this there in advance, like that. Yep, that's good. So when we swap this one around, it's going to go into here, and there's going to be a line of pipes going into here, essentially. Good. So straights. We need lots of straights. One, two, three. We need eleven straights. We already know it's eleven. Uh, twelve, thirteen, fourteen straights. Actually, no. We can recycle those ones. We need 11 straights. Let's go do that now. It's game itself, not like FNAF at all. I won't tell you what happens though. The man can probably see you the game on Discord. I'll find it myself. I'll find it myself. Uh, if, again, it's posted on the Discord because a lot of games on there so far that uh, people are demanding that I play. Is she left? Could be a they. Could be a they. I, got the I don't mind so much though. The cash. I don't mind so much. Uh, let's, uh, pull this further, closer to the straight pipes, real close, really quickly. Uh, this game's kind of got that, uh, vibe, doesn't it? Like, it's gonna go up in a, in a big VOD format on my YouTube channel, and I think the point of it is just to, you know, enjoy the journey, rather than any exciting flashing lights happening, necessarily. Otherwise, I'd probably be playing the finals or something like that. Which I know is actually not a great game to... Uh, watch. People want to play the finals. People don't want to watch it. Uh, no thank you, sir. <coughs> what? Damn, that was loud. And I forgot to pay for it. <laughs> I forgot to pay for everything. Whoopsies. Okay, we'll turn this around and we'll do exactly what we just did again. 
which is fine. I don't mind. One, two, three, four, whoops, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Good. And now, let's not forget to actually pay for the damn thing. Uh, button. 242? I'll take it. There we go. Good. All right, let's persevere onwards. To the Ember Cradle. Our first mine site. I wonder how we can get our sleep paralysis demon to come back to us. That was weird. That was super strange. Good, the machine's broken. Uh, we can actually swap it around now, believe it or not. But every time the filter breaks, we are going to have to repair it. So we're eventually going to have to plan out a logic repair system. Actually, we can't stick these above this at all, can we? We're Okay. So we're going to have to put this sideways because of the logic repair system. And then we are going to want to have another elbow junction, which is probably why I bought the other elbow junction, which is still in the cart, I think. Nope, I think I dropped it on the ground somewhere. I'm certain I had another one. Did I not? Oh, I put it there. Okay. We'll go get another elbow junction. Do we need anything else? No, we don't. We just need a single elbow junction. And we should be good to go. We should, we should be absolutely fantastic. And then we get a get kind of like an auto repair system set up. I think it'd be good. I think it'd be really, really good. Elbow junction. Right there. Good. And boop. And boop. And boop. And wonderful. We are engineering. Excellent. So I'll come up here and we will see what's going on. Not a lot. Okay. We'll put this junction right here. And we'll orient it the right way. I think. Uh... There we go, good. And we'll put the T-junction on top of this. The reason for this is we uh, can't base, we can't set anything to kind of cover these. We need them to uh, essentially just be uh, water filters. We need them to just be water filters. Sorry, I'm having to do a bunch of thinking. It's not my strong suit. Put that there. Which means we also need to move this elbow junction too. Uh, let's put it here. Good. And let's move these straight pipes over onto where we need them. There, and there, and here, and this is basically Lego. It's it's like adults Lego, which I always said was Minecraft. This is giving those building videos that are made in the forest by two guys. Somehow they have a camera, even though they look broke. Oh, you mean the, uh, the like caveman crafting videos? Yeah, I know those. Half of those are faked, unfortunately. There's uh, this big like kind of expose piece going around on YouTube at the moment about how they uh, have, like, excavators in the background every now and then. So you can tell they're a hoax. I bought one too few pipe. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. That was klutzy of me. Okay, let's jump across this hole. I'm going to do a sleep. Okay, sleep paralysis demon didn't really seem to want to bother with me this time. Which is nice. I do like that. We just need one more pipe. One more pipe. Which is fun. We can go there on foot this time. Boop. Oops. I stood on the bed accidentally. And got it. Excellent! Uh, let's hit our hit on this thing. Clong. Ow. We didn't lose a single brand cell, though, because we are plumbers. Good, and we'll hop over here. Actually, we probably could have recycled, but we will catch fish. I'll be right back. I'll be right back.
Ah, I needed that. God damn, I was hungry. I just had like a thousand kilos of, uh, of potassium. One single banana is what I had. As well as a peanut butter and jam sandwich. Delicious. Loved it. Um, here we go. I forgot to put a little, little bit of music on. Here's, uh, so, do we get any shrimp? Do we get any shrimp? Oh, yes. I'm going to throw that straight in the water. We only need one of these bad boys. You should have seen the catch yesterday. A lobster All right. the size of me. I'm going to put that in there. I think that one of the machines probably would have broken by now. Let's take this bucket of fish, see what it's worth. 216 bucks. That is FA. So. We now have up to tier 3 rod because we've also got the next tier uh, satisfied as well. I am going to go to home. I'm going to take this fishing rod right here. We're going to spawn this one. Oops. Or not. Do you want to... Oh, I still have the macro on, don't I? Oops. <laughs> Good. So, let's spawn it. And now we need the puffer fish, which we've already got in the bucket. That was the first one we caught. Let's go and maybe create a display, I think, of, of our fishing rods. Because we definitely need to do so, I think. I think we actually, I think we really need to do so. You Weird, you there was a here in my peanut butter sandwich. Well, there was a here in my moustache. Hard to tell sometimes. Right here. So we actually need one of these rod racks right here to kind of figure out which ones we've already bought. Like this one right here. We need to go and find our money too. Where is it? Where is our money? I know we've got a hundred bucks for that rod from the for that rod rack. Drop that in the in the dirt right there, which is good rod maintenance. Where's my money? Where's my money? Where's my money? Anything broken? No. Ha, <laughs> that's surprising. It's probably in the back of the truck then, right? It's probably in the back of the truck. Where the hell is the truck? Oh, there it is, on the other side of the lake. I never look over there. I never have, probably never will. All right, let's come over here. And is there money in the back of the car? No. <laughs> oh, no. That's fine. I'm pretty sure we can go and sell all of our gold, which is uh, very cash money. We've got a lot of it on the uh, boil too, so very nice. All right, let's pick this up. We'll put it on here. <laughs> kind of maybe want to think about getting two furnaces here and here so we can start sticking these on them. And then just have the ores go straight into the furnaces and then not be its own tiny little piece. That's more for frame rate and it's probably something we're going to have to think about way later. Oh god, all of this is going to have to... All of this is going to go at once, isn't it? Yep, there we go. One giant puddle and casted. Excellent. Great, and we want to drop that there and turn this bad boy back on. Excellent. Now let's take this up top and see what we can get for it. Actually, we can see what we can get for it from this uh, scale right here, right? 319 weight. Wow. 4,000. Oh, wait. I, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't remove this. Okay, let's put this in here. How much is this worth? 1,000. Okay, that makes more sense. We haven't been selling our iron, though. That's the thing. We haven't been selling our iron because we needed to craft the next um, the next couple of machines. And I think I think it costs 150 iron per machine, and we need two machines. So the math adds up, right? We need 300 weights of iron, 300 imperial measurements of iron, 300 pablos of iron. Okay, we'll take this. And we're good. We're good. Right, let's take these bad boys. And we needed to buy something, didn't we? I don't remember what it was. I'd like you to make me something. Okay. Thanks. Thanks uh, for considering me. Oh, okay, so we need that rod rag, don't we? That's what we that's what we wanted. I'm back. Hello there, Goldie Sinclair. Welcome back. I am buying a rod rag. We have uh, finally advanced our fishing. To the point where we actually need the display, which is awesome. I'm going to stick it, uh, maybe somewhere where it doesn't look like absolute ass. Maybe like over here is a good place, right? Yeah, right there. Okay, we got one rod. I got a shout out. No way. Oh, thanks a bunch, bud. Okay, I'll put that rod there. Uh, it's facing the right way. We're actually going to make another trip back to put the second rod that we just got as well. <laughs> And I'll then we're going to get the third rod, which should give us access to better tiers of fish. 
I'm thinking. I'm thinking we'll get better tiers of fish. Okay. Check that out. There is a glowing thing on there that we do not want. Okay, and here is the rod. I'm going to move it before we spawn the next one. Boop. All right, we need crabs. You like fish. We need Mr. Crabs. Good. And we will come along here. Grab the rod. And along we go. Wonderful. Oh, we can cast it while we run as well. I don't think we're going to catch anything somehow. Oh, well. <laughs> wow, that's a really long line, huh? Like an embarrassingly long line. It was by another YouTuber that just started out as well. That's cool. That's cool. I, I do like that um, smaller YouTubers are actually starting to, like, realize, hey, I really need to engage in community support and stuff to, to actually get a, a foot in it. Because all I've seen over the last few years, unfortunately, has to be uh, Twitch streamers. Twitch streamers that just dump VODs up onto YouTube. It's sad. It's a really sad state of the world, but... It's good to see that that's being broken away. If there are actually smaller YouTubers uh, streaming on YouTube doing that. Come have a gander. Okay, we don't want to be in here. We want to go and price up the logic gate because we now have uh, fishing basically done to our third tier, which will give us free money whenever I go on a break again for a sandwich or some, something like that. Which is what I had. I had a sandwich. And we will come out here. We're going to drive to town, I think. Oh, piss. <laughs> that is a giant hole. We don't want to get that stuck, do we? Okay, we'll come around here. You want to give him a shout out? What's his name? I don't mind. I'll give anybody a shout out. Not really. <laughs> hear that much. Streaming's supposed to be a social thing, and you can't really, like, you can't really be social without acknowledging somebody else's presence, right? So, shout outs for me. It's just regular conversation. Get him in here. Get him in here. Have a conversation with me. I'll be back. Oh, no, don't actually. Well, sure. Why not, actually? Why not? All right. I'll come around here, and let's start pricing up logic. It's, if I remember right, it is through here, not there, we have just uh, hit something. It's through here and to our immediate right. Yeah, that giant glowing neon sign definitely screams electricity to me. Uh, so does that giant glowing neon light. All right, ups on power work. Good, so what we need in here is a few things. Uh, we don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. We want one of these. 360 bucks. Actually, if we just get like... Wow, we need a lot of these, actually. We need five of these. We need five of these bad boys. So let's start stacking them up, because I don't think they'll despawn. And we'll see how much money we need. Oh, this is going to really cut into the purse, isn't it? Actually, we've probably got enough money to just get a, another one of the cards, right? Probably get another car. Oh, we didn't bring any money. That was stupid. All right, three. Never Let's come around here. We'll get another two of these bad boys. Four. Five. Okay. That's 1,800 bucks. Wow, that's expensive. And we also need five of these spanner hurtling units, which is 1,200 buckery boost too. Oh, that's going to hurt. That's six grand. Six grand. 7.8 grand. 7.8 grand. What else do we need? 7.8 grand, as well as we need five of these flip hooks, which is 80 bucks. That's going to be 400 bucks. So 8.2 grand. 8.2 grand. Did I do that right? Yeah, 8.2 grand. And we also need some cabling. We need lots of cabling. We're going to need a split cabler. These are also 80 bucks. We're going to need uh, quite a few of these. As well as some T-splits. So we can put a lever on it to turn it off if we need to. Damn, that's going to be like 10 grand. 11 grand, maybe. Okay. Come around here. And uh, we're not actually going to abide by the rules of the road. We're, we're going to drive off of the edge of this right here. Because we are effective. We are power gaming right now. Boom. Nice. Okay, good. Wonderful. So we're going to have to accrue a lot of wealth. That is probably going to be a solution for us when we start focusing on getting the crafted facilities, right? Once we get another few of these machines crafted, we're going to have to start focusing on the logic gates. Mm, okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. I can do that. We do also have all of these gems that we could probably think about cutting. 
tell you what, actually. We've got enough money to get another straight conveyor, right? And then I think we get a gem polisher. Hold up, how much money do we have? Because we might be able to split off all of the ores from the from the gems, which would be really handy for I've sales. Got these two machines, but you can oh, shut up. More I sell. Shut up, friend. All right, what's in here? Yes, okay, so I think we might actually have enough money to do so. Maybe. Okay, we'll stick that in the back of the car. And what do we need? We need a, a single straight pipe, we need a straight conveyor belt, and we need another sp right splitter. That's three things. One of them, we can literally just get next door. The other two, we have to go all the way back to the city to price up. And once we price it up, we'll probably actually think about buying them on the spot if we can afford to do so. Because the sorting system is probably going to be best to take priority over everything else. Got to be said. And the reason I'm getting another straight converter is because we also want a gem polisher, which will remove having us having to do it ourselves. Okay. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> nice. All right. So in here is not what we want. We're going back out. Is YouTube is Polly Nye? Okay. Is he? Uh, does he? Does he still like fit my demographic? Thanks for your business. All right. What's in here? So we want a straight. We want a split. A right splitter. Right splitter. We also want a. Oh, what else? Gem polisher. We need a gem polisher. What have we got? Seven fifty-two from eleven hundred. I don't think we can afford it, but... No, we... Oh, we're so close! I need 120 bucks. He does VR. I'll be doing VR in the very near future as well. I... The reason I haven't done VR yet, I do have a, a meta quest, and uh, I'll be playing games like, um... Whoops, forgot to pay for it. Oh, what was it? Duck Hunt. People have been demanding I play Duck Hunt as kind of like the first VR game I stream. Uh, but I need my girlfriend to not be busy so she can read chat to me while I play it. <laughs> It's live right now if you want to join the stream. I'm streaming myself. I, I don't want to go anywhere. Uh, we are going to hop back into the car right here. I'll check him out after I'm finished streaming, but I am also streaming at the moment. There's a reason I'm streaming too. There's a reason for it. I want to play this game. Okay. Gonna fire off over here. And I think this is most of our sorting system basically done, aside from the gem polisher, which retrospectively... Given the amount of gold we've been outputting from that single uh, piece of machine, we can probably afford the gem polisher now. I think. I think. All right, let's get out of the car. And we want to grab these bad boys and we want to add them to the chain, don't we? So we're actually going to come along and we're going to turn off the sorting system right here. I'm going to drop anything excess into the buckets that they belong in. Like, this belongs in the... Gold crucible right there. Gotta go at 12, okay. That means nothing to me, my dude. I think we're in different time zones. Everyone that comes over to my stream uh, ends up in different time zones. I think it's like 3 in the afternoon here. No, it's 4 in the afternoon here where I am in New Zealand. But that's absolutely fine. You you come and go as you please. That's the glory of my channel. I, I don't get angry when people, like, don't turn up. <laughs> why, would I? why would I? Why would I actively harm my audience like that? Uh, we are going to have to... Do a bunch of chopping and changing. So I'm going to drop that in there. I'm going to drop this in here. We are going to remove this. Drop it on the ground. And we're going to replace it with the straight conveyor in the back of the car over here. Over here. There it is. Good. Now, the reason we want two straight conveyors leading into the sorting system is because we definitely want ourselves to have a centralizer and a gem polisher. And the reason for that is we want everything to be centered so everything does not get spilled off the side of these buckets right here. And then we want a gem polisher so that we can actually sell the gems at the end of the day. Okay. Gonna drop this back on the ground. We want to move this. We want to move this bucket too. Oh my god, I just panicked. I thought all of those gemstones were gonna fall out the end. We want to unhitch this. And then we're going to hitch it here. Oop, there we go. So we probably need another block now. We also need two more straight pipes. I'm gonna go get those now before I forget that we need them. 
And then the sorting system should be absolutely fantastic uh, financially because we'll also be able to sell the gems. There's no money in here. I'll post it. I leave it back in the city. Oh no, I think I did. Oh, we still have one on the other side of here that's literally doing nothing because we needed it from the chain over here. Oh, that's broken too. Good to know. We need this. We need this one. Here. Okay, so let's drop that there. Which means we can drop another one of these. The right orientation here. Now we just need one more for this splitter. Which means we need money. Okay. Let's get some gold together. Again. We'll drop this here. Because nothing's uh, running except for this machine. Well, actually this machine should be running, but it's not. So let's uh, repair this hook right here. Boop. Good. Now, next time it breaks... This one should also break because of how the durability works. But we still have ample, ample repair tools. What's in here? Is it liquid yet? Liquid? Good. Uh, and cast it. And we should be golden. Okay, I'll put the gold here. Whoops, that's not right. We'll put it here. Good. And we'll take this one and we'll stick it over here. This is unusually aggressive for this for this game, isn't it? I'm, I'm going to change it. The music. I'll put on a guilty pleasure of mine. Please, please no one judge me. But it does slap. It does absolutely slap. People who like Tech 9 tend to accidentally also like uh, Blackpink. <laughs> okay, uh, so we've got money. Don't know how much it's going to be worth, but it should get us a few pipes. Yep, 500 bucks, that's absolutely fine. We'll do that right down. What if you mine straight down? Uh, you hit the bottom of the maps. The It's not like Minecraft, it's not like infinitely descending. Suppose you can but the further deep you mine, the better the resources. However, unfortunately, that's really hard to automate because you need a heap of conveyors, which means you need a, ba a bunch of resources uh, to be mined, which we're basically working towards now in this stream here. I'm basically getting the bare minimum of what I would consider to be this game's automation. And then we are going to essentially coast for a little bit doing whatever we want until we can uh, get to the next area. Okay, here's all the money. Uh, we want to come over here for a pipe, a single pipe. One single pipe. Don't need much more than a single pipe. Take a look at my goods. One single pipe. Here we go. Here we go. And we'll put it there. We'll buy this pipe. Good. A little bit of a frustrating shame we keep leaving our money back at the uh, the other city, though. Okay, yeah. It's, it's pretty it's pretty easy to either hang off this game. It's like, it's got a high learning curve, but once you figure everything out, it's, it's pretty simple. Is that the right orientation? Yes. Okay, probably want to get another block, then. What is the name of the game? This is Hydroneer. It's like, um, Hydro and Engineer mixed together. It's really fun. It's really fun to oh, kind of like figure out and everything like that. Uh, where are the blocks? There they are. Good. But yeah, this is one of my uh, favorite games ever. And since I found it as well, it's just had more and more and more free updates. You can now farm physical farming things. Uh, you can do a bunch of other stuff. I can't remember what the other workflows are, but there's a bunch of separations of the economy for things to do. It looks like Bone Lab. It looks like Bone Lab. <laughs> it's, uh... Does it? Does it, though? <laughs> I don't remember Bone Lab having a, um... An engineering puzzle... Feature. Unless I'm just stupid. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know sometimes. Okay, let's get ourselves uh, some gold. We'll put this on this right here. We're gonna need another one of those pots, too. And we also need iron to go right on here and we also now need a glowing crystal this one will do to go on here and we will have completely separated everything out perfect mods oh wait seriously bone has got mods that's sick oh i can't wait to play that then I've got it. I've got Bone Labs. Um, it's been one of the games I've been putting off until I can uh, get my VR set up for streaming. It looks really fun. Okay, so we need another one of these crucibles, don't we? Right, these. Boop. 18 bucks. Thank you very much. 
Good, so let's set this up, and then right at the end of here, we still need another block for the bucket of just refuse, essentially. Let's stick this right here. Good. Good. Now, we're going to take this bucket of crap that we have at the end of the workflow. We're going to dump it on this conveyor belt right there. And it should sort it for us. Uh, going to have to move this. Maybe like, I don't know, there. I don't really care. We need one more platform. You know a YouTuber got his own mob? No, I have no idea. Um, the only VR that I really play is Blade and Sorcery. It, it's so much fun. And I'm actually a martial, art, martial artist, so... It's one of those things that, like, keeps skills sharp. You'd be genuinely surprised at how well the uh, skills from martial arts translates to VR. Like, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy how it works. Look up Bammy. Uh, I'll do it after the stream. <laughs> I'm playing a game right now. <sighs> okay. And we've got the last one right here. We've got a bucket. And that is probably not good placement for it. Probably want to be closer to there. Yeah, I'm happy with this. All right, I'll hit this lever right here. And all of this should sort out perfectly, right? Let's see. Okay, iron's fine. Gold's fine. Ish. It's all perfect. It's all literally perfect. Wonderful. On his other channel. <laughs> Again, I'm playing a game. I won't actually be uh, looking up other people's streams while streaming. I'm terrible at reaction content, by the way. So I've, I've just made it a rule on my channel not to even try. I can't really make it transformative. All I do is just sit there and watch something. And I don't... It, it, it diminishes the value of what I'm watching. Alright, we got a bunch of gems. So now we need the hooks. Now we need a centralizer hook and a gem polisher hook. Which I think we can actually afford... Yeah, I think so. So I'm going to come up here. Smooth as hell? Yeah, it's smooth, isn't it? Isn't streaming? Yeah, well, again, like, still won't be going and looking at other YouTubes while I'm still here. I also have this rule on my channel where if somebody, like, tries to promote their streams or uh, someone, like, goes and demands I end the stream to go and watch another YouTuber, that person just gets flat banned. And I will be enforcing it um, in the future, but I've been pretty lax recently, I suppose. It's just rude. It's just a rude thing to do. Okay, we'll come out here. And... Because you can see, the quality of my YouTube is pretty damn good. The only issue that I have is people don't know I exist. So, like, uh, when people come over and they promote their other streams, it draws uh, the only thing that I'm streaming for, which is subscribers. Away. Oh, okay, I understand. Yeah. I didn't even tell people on Twitch. I didn't even tell people that. People would just come onto my streams and be all like, Hey, uh, do you want to pay me to, to make you a bunch of stuff? And I'm like... You're banned. Like, immediately. Just, you're banned. Don't explain it. Just ban them straight away. Pretty crazy. You should make a post? About what? <laughs> like, the thing was, on Twitch, it's part of the chat rules, right? You can you can stick chat rules in. I don't know if it works the same on YouTube, if chat rules are actually a thing that pops up before people can trap. Okay. Uh, we have money in a different place, I think think and we are probably outgrowing this region here so we want to maybe go to the next store yeah we definitely are outgrowing this that's what I we want we want this the gym the polisher cash. ah perfect 786 yoink and bought how much have we got 324 that's not we that's not ideal we ideally would be getting a centralizer but it it's not an option i should make a post about streams I do, in uh, my Discord. I always let people know about an hour in advance when I am about to stream, because I don't stream consistently. That's the thing. I only stream for fun. I only stream for fun. Just to be able to connect with the, the people that are already watching my videos. They pop up. They pop up pretty frequently. You'd be surprised. I think this is all we want, right? Yeah. So we're going to go in. We're going to get this money yeah, right here. Better prices, and I'm going to drop this in the back of the truck right here. And we are off. So this is going to generate so much more money than we have already got generating, which will probably lead to better automation systems. Although we are already sticking in, like, we are already putting in the best automation that we possibly have right now. It just as kind of like a, a precaution, I'd say. Okay. Got the polisher and we're almost home. And let's stop, and let's dip, and let's grab the hook right here. 
And then we'll turn everything back on, because I think we left it all off when we left. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, yep. Good. No, actually, we turned it all on. Awesome. So this right here is going to start polishing all of the gems that we have for us. We've got a bunch of them already. So let's stop this bad boy. Oh, we've got a broken water filter. That's fine. Boop. Nothing else? Okay, good. Wonderful. Is there a multiplayer mode? Yeah, there actually is a multiplayer mode. I've not seen it before. I've not actually uh, played any multiplayer yet. Going to stop the flow. I'm going to take this bucket and we're going to stick it on the conveyor belt right here. Just dump it all on there. And we're also going to take the other bucket that we have. I trust that. Uh, probably a bit far away, honestly. Maybe here? Yeah, that's good. We'll take this bucket as well that we've been collecting a bunch of crap in and we'll dump it on the on the ground right there. And now we'll turn this back on and all of these gems should theoretically polish as soon as they go past here. I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to work. Yep, that's exactly how it works. Great. So all of these polished gems are going to be dumped into this end box. I hope. Yep, here they come. Oh lord, they coming. Oh, that's so satisfying. Oh, there's another one. Just got mined. Wonderful. So we could sell all of these for a pretty hefty profit, but again, we're pretty much choked off by resources at this point. We actually need more iron than we need anything else at this point. I'm going to uh, cook up our iron, see how heavy it is. Whoops. Or maybe we can just wait it. Maybe we can just drop it on here and see how heavy it is. Oh, that's exactly what we want. Perfect. Uh, so we can actually get our next series of automation. Let's just drop that on there and we'll wait for that to cook real good. And it should be absolutely fine. Yeah, it's going to take a wee while, actually. So, I priced it up. It's going to cost about 11 or 12 grand, probably closer to 12 grand, to start automating the repair of all of these water filters, which is a bit of a damp fart, got to be said. Bit of a real damp fart in the, in the mouth of productivity. We also haven't uh, stuck a single thing into the water pressure tank over there, which is pretty funny. Okay, this should be good now. There we go. Huge brick right there. Excellent. And we'll stick this right here, hopefully. No, we will not. We'll stick it a little further back. Right there. Great. And we'll turn the sorting system back on. Very good. So, now that we've done this, we can actually go and craft new items. We're going to do that. It's almost daytime. Let's huck this into the back of the car. I don't know if we have to buy the schematics, but if we do, it shouldn't be that bad. Hopefully. I'm going to go and see whether or not we have enough money. We've got 324 buckery booze right there. I don't know if we have any spear cash around the place, but we not, might need quite a bit of cash to kind of like buy the schematics. How do you get food? I already know how to farm, but that's it. That's it. I gotta go. Sorry. Bye, Ensign. That's fine, Goldie Sinclair. It was nice meeting you. Um... Yeah, no, uh, yeah, keep an eye on my Discord. There's a channel called Live Alerts. I'll be posting an hour in advance every time I go live, and that's Pretty much all the notice people get, other than, obviously, the uh, little radio waves next to the channel name on YouTube when you're browsing the channels. Okay. So we need to melt these down. We're not going to do that just yet. We need to melt this down for money. Probably a lot of money. Let's actually go ahead and go to where we're supposed to be going. And then we'll decide. Then we'll decide whether or not we need to get lots and lots of money. Good night. Good night, Goldie Sinclair. Hope you had a great night. I'm having a great night. I'm having a really good night. Well, especially considering my, uh, the sickness that <laughs> I think I'm catching. <laughs> the cold. All right, so we want to come around here and we want to ignore this place completely. We want to basically just go all the way along here and hang a left when it's most convenient for us. I think it's, no, we want to actually go right at this intersection and there is a reason for it. I'm all the way down here and our crappy little dingy bucket of garbage. This truck sucks, by the way. There are... Every other truck in this game is better. Way better. Okay, so we're coming up this bridge here, which is the access point for the crafting that we want to engage. And it's just up here. Wonderful. Now, I'm going to take my everything, basically, and we're going to drop it down the uh, chute. Right here, I think. Oh, maybe we can't drop it down there. Oh, I think we can. No, maybe not. Oh, maybe we can. Maybe not. 
Oh, well, I'm gonna see. Okay, that's either just completely deleted from the game or it's down where we want it to be. <laughs> Wonderful. And there's also this money right here, which I will take with us anyway. So we want to basically gap it straight down here, right? Okay, I'm going to take the shortcut down. Boop, there we go. Hello there, sir. Hey there. Hey. Well, nice talking to you. Uh, I'll be on my way then. Now, we need to go and find the shop which I don't necessarily remember the direct location of, but we should be pretty damn close to it, right? Should be at the end of this hallway, maybe? I see a sign, tools and equipment. Yeah, we're here. Good, so we should have a couple of little, like, statuettes. Hello there, sir. What are you doing in here? Thanks for your business. Have you ever heard of a vitamin? Maybe not. Maybe he hasn't. Okay, so, ah, uh, here we go. So we need guild coins for these. No, we don't. Oh, no, we can definitely get these. Okay, uh, let's buy them. We need them. We need them. We're getting them. Uh, one of these. Iron harvester. Good. One of these. And buy it. Nice. That cost us next to nothing. We had just enough. We literally had just enough to be able to buy this, which is pretty good. Okay, so now we got to take this essentially all the way over there to that gigantic anvil. And we should be in a really good place. Once we have these items, we're going to hook them into the infrastructure that we've already set in front of us. I'm going to go get the other one before I consider anything else. And we're also going to have to maybe go down to the mining area down... Oh, I'm going to do that now, actually. Whoa! That was close. Got to come down here because this is where the uh, chute ends. And we need this iron. Maybe that wasn't the best idea in the world. Okay, that's how we get it back up to the truck. Let's go through here. A couple of pots, not interested. That's a gigantic brazier, by the way. That's huge. All right, and we need to leave this next to the anvil as well, but we still also have to go and get the other item that allows us to craft both items. Oop. Gonna jump that gap right there. Okay, so, up here, uh, do we drop it in here? I don't remember. Oh, no, I did. No, that's output. We definitely drop it in there. I mean, worst case scenario, I'm wrong. We have to get another 300. Okay, good. Good, that's exactly where it goes. Awesome. So, now we just need the last crafting item just over here. And we should be good to go. And then we'll have doubled our output. Oh, we still need the one conveyor belt. Ow, my face. And one straight pipe, which I'm happy to go and get. We'll probably have already generated enough gold to be able to buy both of those things by the time we get back to the main base. Gotta be said. So once we've done this, should be good. I think that's where we stick the items to get them back above ground. I'm gonna leave that there. Uh, right, so we gotta hit a lever, some this one right here, I think. There, okay, it's boring. And boom, there we go. We've got our first item, our first crafted item. Gotta jump over that gap right there because you can fall through the slats, which I think is actually intentional. All right, let's swap this out and we will stick this one on top of it, right there. Uh, we also need the iron from here, good. The output. There we go, and now we gotta... Uh, Huh? 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 Maybe I don't have enough for this. Okay. I'm gonna try and just like bang it out. Just so we can see how much is actually in the. Ah, so we need 300 for this one and we need 100 for this one. So we don't have enough. We don't have enough. We don't have enough. We don't have enough. That's fine. I'm gonna drop this here and we are still gonna go. Oh, we can't go up that way. I'm just gonna manually carry this back to the car because I don't think it's gonna be a bad idea necessarily. To make me so much. Uh, piss off, piss off, sir. I eloquently say to him, piss off. Go, go piss off yourself. Okay, up here is the elevator that we need to. Well, that was bad timing. There it is. Do we think we're gonna be crushed if we just stand here? What's gonna happen? Boop. Okay, we're on the lift. Good. And let's go! Yes. Good. 
on the seesaw. So we still need a just a little bit more of this here iron, about 300 weights worth. We had a fair bit. We had a fair bit, didn't we? Let's actually grab this little doodad too, so we can set that up in advance. Boop. There we go. And we're coming off. Let's... I think we should probably just, like, coast it over the mountain, right? Maybe, like, over here? I feel like this is the best idea. I'm doing it. I'm going over the hill. And far away. I pray that I'll return one day. Oh, we just had a, a very, very hard collision with a tree. Ah, oh, well, good thing the gravity is uh, really, really forgiving in this game. <laughs> okay. I think that's the first... No, that's definitely the second time we've driven that bridge, right? Because we had to get to that place too. It's called Ice Helm, by the way. That place that we just went to is called Ice Helm, and it's got all the crafting for the rest of the game. So we're going to be visiting that place fairly frequently. Okay. This one uh, can go there. Let's do a sleep. Oh! scary that was actually very scary oh my god <laughs> this game is so cursed well maybe i'm cursed maybe i'm the cursed one maybe i'm the issue here i'm always the lowest common denominator right of these games that i break okay let's stick the uh thing that we just got over here right beside the other one that we have right there right there okay so once we start pumping into this one that'll start pumping onto the uh, factory line here that we've got. All right, let's stick that there. Uh, I think it's facing the wrong way, though. Yep, there it is. Actually, let's stick it, like, here. Good. Now we have the luxury of thinking about the plumbing. So straight elbow and a T. Straight elbow T. Straight elbow T. Straight elbow T. Straight elbow and a T. A straight and elbow and a T. Straight elbow T. Straight elbow, two T's, two straights. Three straight, two elbow, one T. Three straight, two elbow, one T. Three straight, one elbow, two T. Three eight. Three straight. <laughs> I'm confusing myself at this point. Okay, we need three straights, two T's, and an elbow bend. That's what we're going to buy right now. Let's go! Let's go do some engineering. Ha ha ha. Ah, so do some engineering. I'm just buying pipes. I'm just buying pipes. Oh, the pervert's here. Great. Nice. That's good to know. Thanks. Uh, all right. We need an elbow. We need three straights and two T's, which are way behind this one here. Good. Now, let's park this bad boy right here. Boop. And we have no money. We need 147. No, we just spent it all, actually. We, did, we just spent all of our money. So we need to go and do the gold thing again. Where is the gold? Here it is. It's in here. All right. Let's turn this bad boy off. And we'll grab this here gold and we'll put it on the boil. I'm starting to think that maybe we should just get three furnaces, put it there, there, and there, and then just start sticking the cauldron on those. Maybe. Maybe that would be the way. Okay. We could probably do a bit more fishing as well while we're here as well. We've we've actually started uh, kind of polishing off a couple of very, very good little starting points of the game already, though. That's that's the thing. That's the remarkable thing. We have actually got a very, very good workflow going. Now, this is going to be a bit slow. I think that's going to be perpetually slow. Uh, this should be done by now. Oop, there we go. Good. All right, let's put that maybe here. Yep, perfect. And boop. Let's see how much this uh, weighs. It is 69 kilos, so we're going to get 1.3 thousand bucks out of this, this bar right here, which is really good. Um, we are going to maybe start setting up the infrastructure that we need for this next machine to be set up. And I'm pretty sure by the point that we'll have done that, we will also have enough iron 
to craft the other machine. Be shiny, but you need a keen eye to value it rightly. All right, thanks. We should also weigh the iron that we already have. That is something we we should definitely do. We can't forget that. We definitely can't forget that. All right, let's come up here. Don't mind me. There it is. I'm just about. Leave that in there, and we will come and see what is going on in this neck of the woods. Where is our iron? Where's the iron? 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 Ah, right. Okay, good. Uh, let's weigh this really quickly. Let's, uh, let's not melt it down just yet. Let's just weigh it. It is... Oh, we've actually got enough in this crucible right here. Okay, let's do that. While this heats up, I'm going to go and get a bunch of crap, I think. Oop, almost fell in the hole again that we've just kind of left there, precariously, waiting for us to break our ankles. But it's fine. If we break our ankles, we can just try again. Thanks for your Oop. business. Thank you. Thank you for thanking me for your business. For my business. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we've still got our bed right here, and we've got our cart. Wonderful. So let's take this cart. We'll probably just drop it in the water right here, right? It doesn't really matter too much. Boop. Yep, that's actually perfect. All right, let's get rid of this. Yucky. Ew. Put that on the cart, and we need a T-junction right there. Boop. There we go. And now we need a... Need another T-junction, actually, but it needs to go here. Good. Need an elbow junction, which can go right here. And we need a straight that goes here. So the machine goes here. It's pretty obvious, right? The machine, machine goes in this spot right here, the machine that we haven't crafted yet. I know that we're probably wasting a bit of pressure by kind of having such a distance between here and here, but there was a reason for it, and I can't remember what it was. Literally cannot remember. Okay, wonderful. So all of that should be more or less sorted up. We can probably... Is there a reason it's not going? Is something broken? Yes, there is a broken Watsamadoodle on the other side of this river. That's good, because we only have one spanner too. Excellent. Wonderful. So, now that we've done that, let us go to the... Let's go to the forge. Let's go make ourselves another one of these uh, wang doodles. Oh, piss. Uh, I didn't... Oh, 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 oh. oh, that was so close. <laughs> we almost missed that one. Good. Now that we've got that, we're going to go and finish off the crafting that we were thinking about doing. Boop. And I think we'll reverse the whole way there as well, because I can't think of any more efficient way of us doing this. All right, we've got our underwear on, our spotty heart, <laughs> heart print underwear. Never mind, we just jackknifed our uh, a car. Oh, well, that's fine. I'll take it, I guess. Okay, we'll come over here. I think that we just, like, make a straight shot over the hill right here, right? It seems like the fastest way. Maybe we'll make it, maybe we won't. We've got good traction, though. Oh, good grief, we made it. I can't believe it. I literally cannot believe it. That's insane. Okay, now that we know we can do that, we're going to do that much more often. Okay, so what's up here? There is also a shop right there, which is pretty uh, kind of handy to, to know about, but I don't think there's anything in there that we necessarily give two hoots about. All right, let's go and craft this last little dingaling. Here we go. Sorry for the vertigo. I know people get vertigo when they uh, jump off ledges. And I know this because I just got vertigo by jumping off of that ledge. So, you're not the only one. All right. Have we got the right one on the podium? Yes. Good. All right, let's drop this bad boy in there. Boop. We must have been so close, by the way. Boom. There we go. We've got the crafted item right here. And now we drop it on here. Boop. And it's gone. It's deleted forever. Whoops. Uh, we need our iron bag. This one right here. We could probably just leave it here, but I think maybe taking it with us will probably give us more accuracy when we try and read it on the scales. I think that's probably going to be a better option, to be quite honest. All right. Can we jump through here? Yes. Okay, that's good to know as well. Crush me. Crush me, daddy lift. Crush me. Okay. Okay. We managed to fit through this gap right here because we are incredibly slender. I guess that's what uh, living off of a diet of no food and only hard labor will do to you, huh? Make you emaciated enough to <laughs> slot between the elevator slats. Okay. We are going to gap it back. No, we're not, because we forgot the actual machine we came here for. That was close. There we go. Uh, we'll get this. Let's put it in the back of the car. 
And it's good. Man, you literally can't go anywhere without seeing that volcano, huh? Oops, I jackknifed into that sign. That was a little bit embarrassing. Okay, we'll push on just a little bit further. And I think we want to make a hard left here, right? Yep. Yeah, I, I think so. I'm doing it. I'm making a hard left. Okay, this is uh, ideal. This is exactly what we want. We'll just drive along this house right here for some silly reason. What the hell is this thing doing? It's got a mind of its own. <laughs> the the AI inside of this truck does not want to adhere to normal rules of gravity. Not interested. They just want to drive sideways along houses. Crazy. All right. Exciting. We've doubled our production. Nice. Okay, so I'll come out here and we'll plug this bad boy back in over in the machines we've already got. I can't see half the screen, but I think that's absolutely fine. Uh, now we need... What the hell? Oh, I put it in backwards. There you go. Uh, we'll turn this on. And now we also have to get the shovel. There. There it is. We'll get some soil. And now we want to stick it up the up this thing's bum right here. Right there. Oh. Oh no, we actually want to turn that off. Uh, because we don't have the, uh... We don't have the conveyor belt for it. Why are these working? Are these broken again? Oh yeah, okay. Alright, uh, we need all of our money again. Don't know where we put... I hope it's over here. And right after we kind of repair this item, we are going to go and get ourselves... The last piece of the puzzle. We just need one last piece of the puzzle. One, two, three, four, uh, money. That's pretty nice. That's satisfying. That's satisfying to look at. Look at that. One, two, three, four. Nice. This poor has a lot more items to purchase. You can't find anywhere okay. else. We're going to buy this and we're going to go and repair the water filters. Now that we've got two of these machines, we are going to go and exp expand the uh, conveyor belts. What's broken? This thing right here? Done. Is it still broken? Nope. Good. Righty hoo! Uh, let's actually, you know what? We won't just stop production altogether. We'll put a bucket like here. And then we'll turn this bad boy on so it's still actually going. Good. And we'll just stick whatever it gets back on the conveyor belt. Okay, so we need the money. We need the money. We can't forget the money. And then we're going to go back to the town and we are going to get ourselves a conveyor belt and a straight pipe. In fact, probably a good idea to get a straight pipe on, here. Actually, we've got a straight pipe. We don't need a Buy a straight pipe. Where the hell do I put the money? That's right, we had to repair something. Boop. Take this money right here. And once we are in, we're good. We should probably actually fill up this car, by the way. We haven't refueled it since we started the game and it's been like four hours, three and a half hours. Crazy. Okie dokie. There's also a block of iron in the back floating on the, in the cash. That's funny. The hell does that say? Dre was here. Okay. Good for him, I suppose. I'm breakdancing. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> I love the goofy ass uh, vehicle physics in this game. I love all of the goofy ass physics in this game, to be quite honest. All right, now that we're here, we want to. Not there. We want to come in here, don't we? This one right there. And uh, we'll take the money. And we'll drop the money. Hello there, ma'am. Uh, I need a straight conveyor. Oh, forgot to pay for it. Embarrassing. Okay, 220 bucks, that's pretty good. Pretty good value. We could probably actually get another one, but I, I don't necessarily think that we need to just yet. I'm doing it. I'm doing it anyway. Almost forgot to pay for it again. Okay, good. So now we're a conveyor belt in the green. Take, a look at my we'll take this money. I've already taken a look at your goods, lady. You've got nothing to offer me. Let's come out here and we will continue our role play as a hardworking miner in his underwear <laughs> and socks. Oh, there's socks as well. He's also in his socks. Maybe the, maybe the fact that he's like almost naked was the reason that he keeps jump scaring me every time we use the bed. Speaking of which, the sun is actually pretty close to going down, so good to know. 
Let's come up here. We will stop in the middle of the road so no one else can use it. That's just that's just our playstyle. Selfish. And we want to come up here. There should be a straight pipe in the river. We should have left one in there already. Oh, here we go. All right, let's turn that off and we'll get this. We'll move this. We'll put this right here. And we want to orient this the right way. I think it's that way. Yep, good. There, and now we turn this bad boy on. Excellent. And now we'll drop everything here. Good, so that should sort itself out. Let's put this bucket in this bucket right here. Double buckets. Oh no, something's falling over the... Oh, this is probably just falling off the um, this, right? Probably falling off that. Whoa, that was a lot. That was a lot of iron that just fell in there. A lot of gold that's fell in there too, nice. I like all of this immediate wealth that we've just found ourselves in. Uh, we've got so many gemstones too, that is insane. So money is now coming pretty frequently, and now iron is going to come pretty frequently too. Because we've got two machines uh, working in, at all hours. So, we are one step closer to being able to basically get ourselves financially positive, as well as having a uh, kind of auto repair system. Good. Good, I like this. Good. I do like this, actually. It's so satisfying to see everything just fly off. Oh, yes. Yes! I love it! I actually love it. That's fantastic. Okay, now... I don't know if we can actually get rid of items. I don't think we can. Maybe it would be a good idea to take the scales and put the cast on them. See how much they weigh. They weigh nothing. Good. That means this thing is going to automatically detect the weight of a ingot that we pour into that cast right there. Okay, let's get our hammer. And we'll hammer that. And that's it. That's all we need to hammer. Good. Uh, I'm going to hop into bed, I think. Let's do it. Ah! <laughs> I just jumped myself. I guess you could literally call that a jump scare. Okay. Maybe we get these things here, but if we get like a grand and a half, we can actually get an automatic one of these that automatically pours into a cast for us when we interact with it, which would be quite nice. It would be quite nice to not have to worry about such things. Now, after this, we're going to have to get like five more kind of sorting areas where we separate off all of the uh, gemstones. Oh, we also need to have a right bend for core stone as well. That's an important one. So we need one more. We need one more of those before we can start focusing on the gems themselves. But we really don't need to focus on the gems whatsoever. We still are pretty flush with cash. All right. I am going to... I'm going to swap these out. I'm going to swap these out. And we are going to take all of this to the money place. Drop it there? Nope. What if I drop it here? Yep. Looks good to me. Great. Let's see how much this gigantic bucket is worth, because it could actually be worth an absolute hell of a lot. Boom. Ow. My head. I don't see any, like, big gems in there. And again, I know that the deeper we go, the more resources we get. But for automation, you literally cannot beat what we've got now, especially on the, bud the budget that we have. That is bugger all. That is next to nothing. Yuck. Oh, well, I'll take it. Yuck. <laughs> What a crap, actually. Let's empty the water out of this as well. I'm actually surprised the money got caught in that when we picked it up. Because the money hadn't hit the ground yet. Very impressive. Okie dokie. So, I'm not entirely sure what we should uh, really be focusing on now. Yes, and I'll give you the tokens. Maybe we should be doing these guys' quests. Maybe we should. Maybe we should go down here with a pipe that just kind of like overhangs uh, this hole and we should kind of try and find really, really big chunks of ore. Because it might really serve in our best interest to do so. Might. Might is the big word here. Or we could just dig out the hole. I'm doing it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. We're digging out the hole. Uh, don't really want to get stuck down there though, that's the thing. Uh, we want to dig out all of the soil before we just start laying lots and lots of concrete blocks, I think. And we'll be in a pretty good spot, I would say. Okay, good. What is that? No, nothing. Kind of hard to 
see the difference between the the actual like digging ground and the natural ground, right? I'm not crazy. Let's just go around the uh, the outskirts of this first, so that we can actually see it. Oh, piss. Okay, never mind. We are going to sleep through the entire day. Again, still don't know if this amplifies the uh, the machines. I mean, we could probably just look at the end of here, and if it's full of gems. And if it's full of gems, actually. Full of a bunch of gems. Doesn't really look like a day's worth of gems, though. It looks more like a couple of hours worth of gems, so I don't actually think that they're replicating. Okay, I'm actually going to take the hammer right now, and we're just going to secure the positions of everything, because we don't necessarily want this to stop, do we? I'm going to secure that, I'm going to secure that, I'm going to secure that. I'm going to secure this, and this. We kind of want to secure this sorting system as well, because it's in very good places. Definitely want the gem polisher there. We want to centralize a hook right here, because we don't have one yet. Uh, and we want to lock in these ones here too. And lock in that, lock in that, and lock in that. Should be in a pretty good place by this point. Don't really want to lock in those cauldrons at all. Anything else? Do, maybe we don't want to lock in these pipes just yet. This one at the end here, maybe we do want to lock these ones in though. So let's lock them in. I love how you can't move the hook anymore, but you can move the pipe. That's funny. Good, 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 good. All right. I'm happy with this. So we, uh, here's the thing, right? We have doubled our production of the automation of this game, which I didn't think we'd actually get to in this session. I thought that we'd be uh, kind of still with a, with a fishing rod and a, a brush and a, and a shovel. I thought that would be where we would end the session with. So we've actually done heaps so far. I'm not ending it yet. Not ending the session yet. We can do a lot more in 20 minutes. It's just mesmerizing now. I'm just really mesmerized. Okay. So we do actually have access to the bottom of this map now. We probably could get a pipe, in ex uh, kind of like one of those intake pipes out with a bunch of straights that go all the way over here so that we can fill up a bucket and just brush and bucket from down there. And then we'd be able to finish off those those little uh, quests that people have for us. How much money have we got? Let's see if we can do, actually do this first. Because if we can, I will do it. I will do it. It's probably in our best interest too. Any money in here? No. It is, uh, I don't know how many, no money in here, okay. I don't know how many of these straight pipes we're gonna need to kind of like overhang into this hole right here. Because it looks like you're gonna need an absolute heap. Oh, maybe not actually, maybe not. All right, let's just do that. Let's do that for now. Let's let's actually see what the bottom of the map can give us. Because we should be able to get these really, really big hunks of ore, which would kind of clear up the quests that these guys have given to us, the two guys flanking us left and right right here. Okay. You won't find bad prices let's these. not drop that there, actually. Let's go up to these straight pipes, and we'll grab an intake pipe as well. Grab our money, and we'll drop that bad boy right there. Right! So, we need one of these intake pipes. Good. That's fine. I'm happy with that. Uh, and we probably need, like, I don't know, 10 of these? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Let's take this to the checkout. Boop. And we'll hit the button. Excellent. And we'll come out. We actually saved a lot of money on this, honestly. It, it's not expensive. It's really not expensive whatsoever, so... This will just be a little bit of an experiment, I suppose. Alright, let's uh, stick it right over here. Good. We need the intake pipe first. We probably want it as low as possible. Uh, will it pump from here? No, that's too much in the ground. What about here? Yep, that's good. Is this where we want it to go? Not really. Uh, probably want it more like here. Yep, okay, that's fine. And we want to then kind of like get right above where we will be doing the mining. Okay. 
So this is what most players do, by the way. This is what most players do when they first start this game up, is they make something like this. But while they're doing this, if they don't have automation already set up, then it's a bit of a waste of time to do so. Okay, put that there. Grab this one. Put it there. Are we overhanging? Very close. Probably like one or two more, and then we'll dig straight down. Okay, maybe just one more, because we only have one more. And then we'll dig straight down from here, right? Yeah, because that is not reaching the bottom. All right, good. So that should go all the way down to the bottom. Ah, oh, it's, it's just too shy of what we want. We want it a little bit, just a tiny little bit longer. So that it hits like that flat bit at the bottom there. All right, we'll get one more of these straight pipes and then we'll throw a bucket down there and we'll go to town. We'll go to town on it. Where is it? Yeah, straight pipe. Grab this. I know it's very ugly too. I know it's hideous. <laughs> it's a hideous eyesore, but again, like, functionality is not always beautiful. Oh, I think we've already mined all the way to the bottom. Yeah, I think we have. Okay, let's throw a bucket down there. Boop. Yeah, it's in the bottom. Good. So we'll drop this right there. So that is going to infinitely fill up. We need to unstuck ourselves because we are unfortunately stuck. And we want to go down and take ourselves our shovel, scoop up the dirt. And we want to also get the brush too. We want to get the brush, which I'm pretty sure we left in the river over here. Yep, there it is. Wonderful. Okay, so drop that there. We're doing it. It's happening. Huh? Okay, I, that is already an enormous hunk of iron ore. Let's keep on doing this. Good. That is a rather large chunk of gold as well. Wow, resources really are pretty good here, huh? Uh -huh. We could probably get a bunch of buckets down here and then just like uh, sequentially brush. But maybe that's just a bit of an inefficiency. Okay, good. Put that in there. And we'll brush it. Good. We'll get this. Put it in there. And we'll brush. Don't you love how we've already sorted out automation and now we are back down in the hole <laughs> by lamplight. Digging with a shovel. Huh? Oh, this game, huh? This game. Oh, this game. Okay, good. And we'll do it again. Okay, and we'll brush, mm -hmm. and maybe a couple more times, and then we'll go up and we'll see if we've got, like, a, um, uh, something to satisfy the requirement of the quest that we've got. Good. And, whoops. Another one right mm -hmm. there. And we will brush. And we'll shovel. Yep, got it. And we will brush. And I think this is probably good enough, right? All right, this is a little strange. Let's try and grab this up. Maybe we can get out of here. Oop, it looks like a way up. Good, excellent, we're out. Right, so let's stick this on the scales. See what we've got. This one looks huge. What is this? Whoa, 2.19, excellent. So the guy who gave us the gold quest is gonna have this nugget right here. That is actually heaps, that is massive. That is a massive improvement. Give me this Boop. and I'll give you Nope, he was the iron guy. This guy's the guy that, like, smells the gold and then throws it on the ground, right? Specific. There you go. Enjoy. Thank give you. me your guild coins. Thank you. Oh, his uh, mission statement also disappeared too. So now we've got these coins. I think they're prospecting guild coins. I think we should put them in a bucket. We'll just have a money bucket of some sort. We'll keep all of our money in the bucket. Okay, and now we need a 1.5 weight. Whoops. There was a reason we were over there. 1.5 weight bit of iron. This one looks pretty good. That is two. Weighs two at minimum. So we're going to come up here and we're going to give this to the quest giver over here. Hi, friendo. I've got a gift I for you. There you go. Enjoy. Give me, your, give me your tokens. Thank you. Good. Now, the reason we're gathering up these tokens right here is because we can get a tier three pickaxe. Whoops, just bumped my mouse. We can get a tier three pickaxe with them. And when we get a tier three pickaxe, we can basically excavate really fast. Hey, nice. They just bred. Weird. Mitosis. Crazy. Okay, uh, so... Uh, 
I'm going to put these here. I'm going to dump all of that on there because I I know that it's going to be a massive boon. And I think instead of maybe digging out with the pickaxe for now, it would be better to huh? just dig <laughs> with a shovel. There you go, I'll put that there. Put that in the bucket. Move that, brush huh? it. And we'll dig from here, put it in huh? there. Huh? And we'll brush it, and we will dig, and put it in, huh? and then we will, in fact, brush it, and then we will dig, put it in, and then we will brush it. Also, for anybody coming in for the manual experience, I'm pretty sure this is what everybody wants, right? Okay. So, we can actually get a better shovel, too. We probably should be getting a better shovel by this point, right? Because we huh? are kind of gonna be using it a fair bit until we can accrue enough resources to get ourselves the next set of automation all right so i'm gonna maybe do this for a, just a little bit longer and then we should be in a very very good place for the next session we've got options by the way we've got options we could get into farming now or even better we could uh get further into mining and turn this land mass into an absolute mechanical monstrosity which i am all for i know a lot of people would probably want to start ice helm by now which is a region but i'm not really interested in like min maxing per se i just i just kind of want the adventure to go on as it progresses huh? I'm good and we'll get some more and brush good and spade spade in brush huh? and good and spade and spade in and brush good and spade and good and brush and spade there we go and brush and i'm actually going to move this closer to us right here maybe we'll move it like here i think so we can actually see the <laughs> the place we're digging into okay we're going to start digging and we'll put it in huh? this bucket and then we brush and then we dig and put it in the bucket and we brush oh uh, actually we've already found right here core stone so this is the next tier of ore fantastic wonderful actually uh let's go up all the way up because we're going to need a sorting system that also includes core stone so i think maybe just like leaving it here would be a really really good idea and we'll get one more of these splitters here if we can afford to do so which we can actually afford to do so now so I'll do that. I'll do that now. And then we'll start maybe thinking about investing our money in some conveyor belts that come along here and then filter down into this lower region down here. And this lower region can most certainly be used for extraction of ores. The reason we didn't do this sooner is because we actually had to mine out this entire area. There is a reason we didn't do it. I know that it's way more lucrative, but there is a reason we didn't do it. Hey. Hello, sir. Hey. That was a... He was... He, he said that in a bit of a sexy way, didn't he? Okay, wonderful. So, we've got core stone. Let's actually go and get ourselves the splitter before we forget, because... It... Oh, it's just a straight conveyor. Okay. I thought it was... I thought that, that was the uh, problem solved. We've got 574. That's actually enough for us to just flat out... To flat out go. Okay. We'll get our we'll get our driving boots on. We'll get our driving gloves off because we are naked, and we will launch ourselves off of this edge right here. Boom! Wonderful. And we'll get ourselves a little bit stuck, as is just mandatory for this car. What are we doing? We're getting confused. We're getting the uh, the belts, aren't we? Excellent. So let's come through here. Any money in here? No. We want a right conveyor right here for the core stone. And it's not going to be necessarily used a lot initially. In fact, it's probably not going to be used at all. But the fact that we will actually have an outtake for core stone means that we'll be able to uh, set up all of the machines way deep down into the earth. As well as ones that are already above us. Okay, good. And we are going home. We're actually getting pretty low on fuel, aka water, so maybe we should fill up with the bucket. I think we should get a bucket and maybe fill up our uh, our truck, because it's it's not looking so flash. Great. 
up here. And we're almost home. This session has actually been fantastic, by the way. Uh, usually, things don't go this quickly. Especially not with the... Uh, without most of it being manual labor. Okay, I'll come over here. I'll drop this iron bar into the iron repository right there. And I think we'll go and get the core stone set up. Right here. Boop. Gonna drop that on the ground right there. And we'll shut this down. Good. Take this, move that, of course, and we'll take this. We'll move that, of course. And we now need the hammer to unbolt the uh, doodad from the soil. Oh, that's not good. Let's repair this. Good. Wonderful. Uh, we are going to now do what we said we were doing. Yeah, right there. And we'll put that there. And now we're probably going to need another crucible to put all of the items in. We also need another straight pipe, and I'm pretty sure we had one somewhere. Maybe we didn't. Maybe we actually didn't have a straight pipe anywhere. That's fine. I'll go buy one. I think we've got enough money. I think I brought the money back with me, which would have been the smart thing to do. Oh yeah, here it is. 42 bucks. That'll get us a straight pipe. Good. One. Duh. Full. Oh, we already had wealth beyond measure over here. We didn't need to bring that one coin over. Okay, we'll buy this one pipe. And now we are good. We are Gucci. We are going to also need a crucible and also one more of these little concrete pipes. Uh, paths right there. So we'll take that. See the orientation is correct. And put that there. Now we need to take this core stone. We need to whack it on top of this bad boy right here. Good. Right there. So now core stone is going to be diverted away. Let's go get another path. We need another path. Uh, we're also probably going to have to spend the last, like, end of the sorting system uh, basically dedicating it to gems, which is another five of the right splitters. I know there's five different types of gems in the game. Look at oh, we'll get a path. Uh, yeah, that path right there. Good. And we will go and place this. And then we need a crucible. Then we need a crucible. I was thinking, do we need a bucket? We do not. We do not need a bucket. We need a crucible because we have buckets for days. Uh, we'll put this right there. Very nice. It's probably going to fill that bucket up with water, but hey, it's a gem. It's a gem. Gemstones are really, really good with the water. All right, what else are we looking at? We have an elbow pipe right here that we don't want. What did we want? Crucible right here. Good. We should probably actually get a bunch of furnaces. Because here's the thing, right? Once you start getting enough automation... There are so many little items in the game that kind of start stacking up that it starts it starts crashing the frame rate of the game. Oops. Put that there. Good. Let's put this back on. Boop. Excellent. So there's a bunch of stuff right here that's going to be immediately sorted. There's probably some gems in there too. Yep, there's some gems in there. Two emeralds. What else is there? Sapphire, two sapphires and an emerald. Great. What's in here? A lot of gold. And that should be the crap. Yep. And there won't be any core stone for a long time. But if we're getting buckets of things from down below the earth while we're waiting for the iron to kind of like regenerate itself. And we need 400 iron for a full set of the items that we just uh, kind of like attach to here. We are going to come across a lot of them anyway. The core stone nodes. So we can actually take this whole bucket right here and we just dump it on the sorting rack. Which is just absolutely fantastic. I'm going to start doing the manual thing again. We need to, uh, we need, we need a better workflow for this, right? Because I keep, like, thinking about dropping my shovel into the dirt and he's like, huh? Oops. Good. Oops. We probably need to get a better shovel, got to be said. So here's the thing, right? We can now take this bucket and we can go up here. And this will accelerate the amount of time it takes to get more of these machines right here. Good. Okay, got a little bit of frame dip right there, but it should be fine. This is going to be huge, right? How many ge any gems? Yeah, there was actually a gem. It's a big one, too. Wow, that's huge. Okay. Those are actually huge little chunks of stone. That one's enormous. 
Good grief. Well, okay, so that's it up. We'll leave this down underground and we'll keep it in mind for the next session. Leave that there so it just fills up with water perpetually. Good. And we'll come out of this hole. So, now that we got that settled, might be in our best interest to start getting a bunch more of these things here. Oh, uh, the filter broke. That's fine. There we go. Fix that. We still need like 11 grand or so to get the automated uh, repair. All those filters. Oh, that's going to take ages. I suppose we could probably do them one at a time because they all have to be on a separate circuit. We basically want them to detect when the uh, durability of these filters are at zero. And then when it does, it sends kind of like a logic, uh, a, a little a little pip around the circuit that says, hey, use whatever's in the circuit and then we'll get a spanner thrower that just hurls one of these at the broken item and it auto repairs. That's how that functions. And while these things are active, those machines in sequence do not take damage. We've got four of them. Once we get 10 of them, it'll be equal to if we had 10 of those water filters. Can't get any more than 10 water filters on a circuit functioning. Five of them, still a little inefficient for what we've got, but once we get another two of these machines, we've got six machines not taking damage, and we've got five water filters taking the brunt of the damage. So that is efficiency. That, that is the most efficient you can have it. Basically just free invincible machines forever. For as long as time continues. This is satisfying. I do love this. Okie dokie. So, down there, there is the... Oh, let's actually go see what it costs to getting you shovel, because I'm pretty sure we can just buy one from the city. I'm going to take my grant, and if there is a better shovel, we're going to buy it. We're just going to buy it. Because going down and mining ourselves is actually a really good shout. It, it seems to be very effective. I know that we could probably set up the machines to mine down in the hole, but we're going to need to set up a heap of piping networks uh, to kind of support that. So we're kind of limited in that instance by time, I would say. Okay, almost there. I don't know what the hell's going on with the, uh, the flashlight in front of us here. I know it's projecting light, but it's in like a square and it keeps glitching out. Right, so where do we find a shovel? Probably in this store right here, right? Shovel? Shovel tier two? Oh yeah, that one looks way better. 700 bucks! I'm taking it. That is cheap. That is very cheap. But what it is, basically, I think once we get the shovel, it's gonna pay for itself after our first like 10 pans. Good. Excellent. And we'll throw this in the back of the ute and we will get our money. We need to get ourselves a better car as well. This one's a bit of a burner. It's a bit of a burner. It's not an amazing vehicle. It's, it handles like ass. It's got a huge amount of junk in the trunk. I'm just not interested, right? Okay. Now I'm not entirely sure if the shovel dictates the quality of all that you get, but I suppose we'll find that out in the next session that we play, right? I'm around here. And we are looking pretty damned good. Now the reason I am thinking long-term about this area here I know it's like the starting area and there are better places to go, but the reason I'm thinking long term about this area here is if this is going while we're kind of like dealing with the the higher tier items, then we still have generating profit. It's still generating profit. Right, let's take this down to the hole and see what it is. Oops. Drop that down there. I'm going to take my... No, I'll leave the money in the back of the car. And actually, while I remember, uh, let's find another bucket and we'll put... Nope, there are no buckets around here. I was going to refill the car, but uh, we aren't going to do that now. Okay, that's the good shovel. This one's crap. Let's leave it way over huh? here. Huh? Well, put it down. Are you sure? Okay, and stick that in there. And now we brush. I don't know if it made a difference. I really do not know. It feels faster. It feels like it, it does the actions faster. Huh? But I'm not entirely huh? sure if it's huh? actually better. Okay. Whoa, my god, that is a huge chunk right here. Good grief. My god. Let's come up. Oh, we are actually stuck in this hole. What if... If we unstuck, do we lose the thing in our hand? No. That's... Oh, that's really good to know. Okay. 
Let's weigh this thing. This thing is... Damn, 2.5 kilos. Good grief. Okay, we're gonna like manually pan down below then, I think, for quite a while to get ourselves a pretty good position to potentially think about getting some automation down underground because that really does seem worth it. Compared to the crappy little like, what is this? This is... Compared to the crappy under kilo items that we're getting here, we just got a two and a half kilo item on our first pan. Insane. All right, so that was a really good session. I'm pretty happy with where we're about to leave it off. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Hygienia that ends up going up on YouTube. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you really enjoy. And of course, down in the description of this video, you're going to find a link to my Discord where you can chat to me and my community personally. I'll see you there. And until I make the next episode, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.